It's Mars Horizon, and we are currently lagging behind in the race to do what we swore we'd do first. We told all the press that we'd be putting the first man on the moon, and unfortunately, China got the jump start on us, and we had a horrible delay in putting together our rocket. We could have beaten China, I think, but when we were doing our rocket here, we ended up with an extra build time modifier. It's taking a long time to put this thing together. So, we're hoping and praying that the Chinese operation bursts into a ball of flames and that we can cinch first place, but uh, it's probably quite unlikely. Probably like a 1 in 10 that it's going to go that way. Still, a man can hope. We've come first in plenty of things. I just don't think we'll take this one. We seem to have plenty of money, but these rockets are getting astoundingly expensive. In fact, how much was that one we were just looking at there? Does it actually tell us how much it is? Mmm, well we got the Elghorn here. Does it show the cost though? I'm not sure if it does actually. What about uh, the legendary Marvin? Ah, huh, I'm surprised. I thought it would have sh would have shown all the costs. In any case, they are expensive. But there's little else for us to do but to carry on until the next event. Mariner 8 will almost be done. When it comes to our research, I feel like we're about halfway through a bunch of these. The trouble is the missions one. There are a lot of missions to research. The ultimate thing is to do, I believe, the crude... Nah, we just say the manned. The manned Mars landing. There's a lot of things to research on the way. Currently working towards getting ourselves an extra mission slot. Because those are really handy. Even if you're not using them all at once, you can use that to prolong the amount of time you do training on a mission, get those extra stats in while you can. In any case, let's carry on. And what are you up to, Soviet Union? Ah, oh, don't remind me. Don't remind me that China's ahead of me. It is telling me that there's new missions available for me on Earth. I am mostly interested in either getting myself more money or getting myself an alliance with Japan or America. That one right there looks like it would absolutely assure an alliance with Japan. So as soon as I have an extra mission slot, I want to take that one. In five months we'll do atmospheric sampling. That seems like the... Oh well, no, in two months we'll have our commercial satellite launched. Then we need to take the Japanese mission. Sounds like a good one. There we go. And we're way into era three. The outer planets have been unlocked, so does that take us all the way up to Pluto? Hmm, could it even be possible to send humans to the red planet? Well, we did start our Mars preparate. Wait, I thought we already started this. I was 100% sure that we had already unlocked this. Hmm, that's strange. Alright, Mariner is ready. Now we can make our vehicle. However, let me... <laughs> That's strange. I I had sworn we'd already gotten that. I did already uh, save though, didn't I? Yeah, I'm certain I did. Don't know why it's showing me that again. Yeah, we had Mars readiness. Huh. I'm quite certain I... Ah, well, whatever. We've got it again. <laughs> we can at least look at it again. We have our Mars readiness. Yes, 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 yes. We've been over it before, and our odds for success currently are abysmal, but someday it'll be better. Right, where are we at with this? Got ourselves a new slot now that this is all researched. Seems that this is where you left off. Yeah, maybe it was a couple of months I hadn't saved there. Oh god, had I done the commercial satellite last time? Now I can't even remember. Right, need to think what I want to be researching on. I'm just here to admire my points, says Busty. There's plenty of points going around if you make good decisions here. Hmm, I do like the idea of better contractor effects. I don't like that enormous cost, but everything's starting to have enormous costs. Mobile launch platform. Construct in one area, then move to a designated launch site, then launch from that same platform. 10% off of vehicle build cost sounds like it would pay for itself very quickly. 
Also giving us Mars expertise and everything we do seems rather important. Mm. You're a big upfront cost though. I will likely need this space plane runway at some point though. Also have to consider other missions that I want to do. Mars landing, space station, I mean space station sounds good. Let's also see those outer planets we've unlocked. Doesn't go further than Mercury, but we can go over to Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto. So we could go and do the Pluto flyby if we want readiness for Mars. Mission length, a long, long time. Holy moly. I wonder if that's worth it. That's going to tie up a mission slot for a long time. There's Neptune, but not Neptune's moon. The most distant planet in the solar system, reaching Neptune, represents a major technical challenge. A nuclear-powered probe to perform a flyby of the giant planet. I mean, just what kind of data do you get from flying by these planets? That's beyond me, I think. Okay, but that's going to require some stuff down here. Saturn, Jupiter, Mars lander. Tell you, out of anything there, what interests me the most is the space station. That said, what's the space station going to do for us? Mm, not so sure we want to land on Mars. Yeah, the space station sounds kind of cool. Tell me more about the space station mission, though. I like the Earth ones, because we can get them done nice and quickly. The Grand Tour is very worth it. These guys are only for show. The contractor building is broken with the Japanese contractor. It's stupid money. Uh, I certainly would like the contractors to be performing better. Let's see. Ambitious mission will launch a long-range nuclear-powered probe. Da -da 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 -da. It will continue on interplanetary space, leaving the, sol the solar system entirely. That's a huge amount of science and a lot of Mars readiness. But Grand Tour is way down there. Hmm. Tell you what, I like the idea of those contractors doing better for me. Takes me off of the other missions quite a long time, though. It's 10,000 right there. Ah, uh, but I can do filler missions till we get there, and I do want that Japanese alliance. So, let's go and make ourselves our Phobos Photography vehicle. What are we going to have here? Science up, payload down. And this is for the science. Demanding, huh? Hmm, serious challenge, you say? I doubt it. We can have it in no time. Right. I want things done cheaply, because God knows I don't have a lot of money. Not that I have many options. We only have one thing that works for us here. As for the booster... Well, I could uh, max level Atlas on this one. Or I could be using Ariane. Ariane would need some of these, though, so forget that. We'll max level Atlas on this one, unless... <laughs> the shape of that's just not right. Okay, there we go. We can get the upgrades, and I always want the upgrade that reduces cost. Not sure I want the one that just increases cost, though, so no thanks to that. And, 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 launch reliability. I do like getting support. I do certainly like getting support. Hmm. I don't think the total build time is a problem here, so let's just get extra reliability. And who are we going to call this? I've actually run through my entire list of names, so I'll just take people in chat to be our rockets now. And this one's going to be the TAM, complete with underscore. Off you go. Alright, brilliant. Back we go. And it's time to do that commercial satellite. So I'm starting to think I've had more than enough of these little mini-games in the game. I'm going to keep doing them when I think that the bonus is too good to pass up, or if it's a really important milestone, like doing the manned moon landing. Otherwise, I think I'm going to start putting it into God's hand. Where Dewar was hand enough to pass me something that allows them to auto-complete with the bonus, 
but I don't feel like using it. I'd rather just roll the dice at this point. Am I sure we didn't do the uh, the satellite already? Oh god, bad condition, so I'm certainly going to be rescheduling that launch. Yeah, no thank you. Unfortunately, it doesn't let you preview the dates ahead of time. I wish you could see. I wish you could see this first, because um, you might go, Oh god, everything's bad, let's not reschedule. And I don't think you can un... Yeah, I don't think you can go back and just continue on with the launch, so we'll have to hope that July is going to be a good day for it. Ah, oh, that's pushing back our Japanese collaboration. Oh well. Yeah, just a little bit of condensation. It's still good. Does reusing a rocket design give some perks? Rockets level up, so if you keep using the same parts, then they'll level up to level 5, which usually gives them more reliability. Alright, here's hoping it's not a cracking thunderstorm now. Nope. Clear evening. Yeah, I'm having second th thoughts on uh, rerunning this one very hard, where do are, just because the game is so much minigame. I was expecting a bit more strategy in this, but not so. Alright. 1 in 50 chance of failure. We haven't had a failure in a long time. Let's not start us off with one, shall we? Not sure about the overall design there, Radu. Holy moly. That's some powerful stuff. <laughs> I wouldn't want that exploding on me. Seems to be veering off a fair bit, but probably as planned. Oh, I'm, I'm surprised that's as planned. Didn't look so good. But apparently it was very good. Auto-resolve percent chance increases the more you do the same mission. Launch five satellites, auto-resolve will almost always be extra bonus. That's cool. Uh, still, this is our commercial satellite. I really want that extra money. So, this one I'm certainly going to be doing myself. Alright. All we need are 10 compasses out in space. How hard could it be? Especially since we have 12 shots at getting it. Although we want 20 in total. What's the best payment on that? It's power and Wi-Fi into that. Although power itself... I wonder if you could do this just by doing nothing but power into that. No, the recharging power would take a fair bit. So never mind that. What's my best odds here? Mm, power into you to get you and you is pretty good. And then I've got loads of you to get more of that. Alright, that'll give me plenty. Well, it'll only give me six, but it won't cost me all my power unless these things start failing. And it's a pretty high chance of failure, so let's hope that it is not. <laughs> we immediately get some failure. Okay, just resist. Oh, starting to see a pattern here. So that burnt a lot of our power for no good reason. Still, with what we have, we can, we can, we can get a lot more of you, huh? I mean, I could just do this several times. I could do something like that. And if there's failures, I can just take the hit to the other resources, so that'll be fine. Barely. Mm, splendid. <laughs> Extremely splendid. Especially when you're giving me extra compasses. So this is what I'm talking about. Although I don't like it when it costs me the compasses. That's what I'm not looking for. Now we'll just have to resist that. Still we're looking good. In fact, we can just recharge. Oh, oh god, I'm on my last turn already. I was getting a bit too gung-ho there. Um, let's see, I still need five of these. Ooh, that could be a little tough. So I get for not paying too much attention here. 
thought I had loads of turns. I do not. Right, well, I can do you and you and... You... That should be fine, because then I can take... I can resist twice, and if it fails three times, hopefully one of these will do a hit to anything that's just once. So that should be fine. Get the power. Don't fit. Okay, we're already good then. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had three super successes on this before. There we go. See, that's the thing. It was easy peasy to get the bonus reward here. And yet, if I handed it over to the auto resolve, it only would have been like a 20% chance of getting it. Alright, but now we need to achieve orbit. We can use thrust. Or drift, rather. Again, 12 shots to do this to get 8 and 8, and achieve a thrust between negative and positive 1. Where are we going to go with this? I kind of like it because it turns drift into a resource. That's a 1 to 4, which is rather nice. That's a 3 to 4, which is not quite so nice. 2 to 3 is slightly better. do like that Wi-Fi, though. What do we need, actually? We need Wi-Fi and batteries. These all get me the batteries. These all get me the Wi-Fi, but two of them cost the batteries. Hmm... He's thinking. It's a solid start. Yeah, that seems to do me all right. Keeps the drift in a good area as well. Although, again, pretty high chance these fail, and I do not have a lot of power for this. Ugh, I'll take it. Hmm. Costing me a battery. I mean, just one battery is no big deal. I'll accept that. <laughs> Barely, but we get it in there. Okay. I'll take that, but I have no spare batteries. Hmm... Just power for battery and drift. I don't like it. But two to three is not a great trade. However, three to five. Ooh. The thing is, I need Wi Fi. Need to get some of this as well. Doing that seems pretty good. Takes me up to six and five. Can I go from here as well? A little bit of extra power might go a long way. Actually, a little bit of power seems like exactly what I want here. Especially when things go my way, <laughs> or don't. Right, what's this? I lose a... I lose a compass. Now, what's the point in having power if we don't use it to resist? No, compasses are not necessary. Just lose the compass. There we go. And with all this power, we can more or less guarantee a win here. But how? That gets me all the batteries that I need. And that gets me all the Wi-Fi that I need, but I do need to drag it back a bit. Like so, perhaps. Eight, eight. Okay, the only downside here is that I can't have everything fail. I can't have three things fail on me. That's all right, I won't have three things fail on me. I'll have one thing fail on me, though. 
Just resist that. I'll have two things fail on me. Oh, <laughs> going off course. Uh, output will be reduced by one of these. Actually, that's fine. Because we were perfect on the drift. So we can just accept this. Hey. Perfect. First one to get the big box up there. Jake tricking us with success like we forgot he's going to play second fiddle to the Chinese on the moon. He broke his promise. I said we'd be the first humans on the moon. Oh, Radu, it exactly is. The game's tricking you into learning some mathematics. Alright, easy peasy, and some damn good money out of it, which I'm going to have to pour into breaking rocks on my base. Ugh, next month it's do or die, and it's probably die for us, not the Chinese. There we go, Isaac's ready to go. Optimal and suboptimal reversed. What could it mean? I like the mission bonus up, though. Ah, right, they're not done it yet. They'll be doing it this month. Which means if we did it first, we would beat them, but we're not there yet. Righto, atmospheric sampling. I don't know why you have to choose this before you choose the date. The date is very important. Being able to get the max bonus on this is very tempting, though. So especially since the bonus is up 100%, so I might as well take that. We're not in a race for this. It's just a, just a general money mission. That said, though, launch reliability up at 99%. What if we do payload instead? I really want the money, though. I think... Oh, jeez, I don't know. Payload or launch? I'm going to be kicking myself if I auto-resolve it and it fails, though. That one's not going to fail if I auto-resolve. This one has a huge chance of failure if I auto-resolve, I think. But practically no failure on launch. Alright, you know what, we'll we'll do this as our first auto resolvey thing, I think. There you go. The money though, I know the money looks so good. And I want that 50% extra money. How much extra that's an extra two million right there. No, I have to start detaching myself from that 50% bonus because I I'm gonna get real sick of these mini games if we have to keep doing them. How much worse are the chances on the auto-resolve? I have never failed any of these probe missions so far. And we've done, I don't know, at least 20 of them. But when you hand it over to the auto-resolve, there's a real chance of failure. Alright, let's go with that. If the launch fails, the payload doesn't matter. True, but the launch was already quite good. I'd just rather it didn't fail at all. Alright, there we go. Now for the bad times. No. The world's media have praised the achievement while many outlets closer to home have criticized your agency for not getting their first ESA you got overconfident. China got it done. That's a bit of a hit on the support. On the other hand, 500 isn't a huge amount compared to the 22,000 that we need. Still feels bad though. Uh, I wonder if I could have well, of course I could have done that better and faster, but still it stings. We could have had it ready. We could have, but we didn't. Oh, tell you what I also didn't do is take that mission slot with the Japanese. I need that. I want that. Whoa, I can take two with you. And one of them gives loads of money. I like all of these things. All right. Um, well, money first. Uh, I think I took this and didn't mean to. It's alright, they both... I think this one will stay around long enough for me to grab that as well, but I will do this test. Let's get planning, and let's have those Japanese pay for it. 
Increased power but increased cost? Doesn't matter. Japanese are footing the bill. <laughs> China have already made a giant printing of Mao on the moon. The Chinese will probably get more done up there. Alright, let's carry on. Japan requests our data. Greatly improve the... Well, we are already working on that, but I don't see a reason not to. There we go. Gain rep with Japan. Japan gets science. I don't know if that does anything. We've been told that the AI doesn't really have these kinds of stats. All they do is have dates that they get things done baked into them. Now, as for that... Oh, it's so close to having the alliance with Japan. I want it. I want that Astronautica contractor there. 30% build cost. And with the 25% bonus on it, it's going to be closer to 40% build cost down. Unless it's a flat bonus, imagine that. Yeah, let's accidentally land on top of the Chinese flag and have a bit of history revisionism. Support reward down. Sad day. But this is our working together with Japan, so we might as well enjoy their massive discount. And get the biggest, baddest thing I have leveled up. Hmm, I say that. We like the Saturn IV, don't we? I like the Saturn IV. That thing can really get the job done. The Saturn II. Nah, we'll do it with the Saturn IV. We'll boost you up with the Saturn V. Oh, it's starting to get a bit expensive. Could we maybe consider doing this a bit cheaper? How cheap can we do it? Ariane. Ariane with Atlas. Get Atlas max leveled. Do it with the other Ariane. Launch reliability is way down thanks to the challenging, uh, the experimental fuel rather. Yeah, maybe better to get this done on a super budget, even if you are paying for half of it. Composite casing to tone down on that. And who are we going to throw in there? Well, we have Hapjacks in chat, so we're going to put Hapjacks on this experimental fuel and see if they want to blow up in the name of Japan. Wish I could use the Japanese contractors since we are working together, but it's not working that way. Alright, get that done. Whoa, lovely discount. Shame it isn't shown until that point, but there you go. Okay. In three months we'll do atmospheric sampling and then we'll be able to get the other Japanese mission going. Hmm. Engineers have no notable issues on the TAM. Underscore. Again, just choose whatever because the most important thing is to choose the date. May is looking good. That's a lot of science. I think I want that science. Yeah, the whole point of doing this mission is for the science, so we might as well get the maximum bonus on it. 5,000. That's halfway towards getting our next building. Hmm. Hard to say no to that. On we go, then. Who's being sent up there? That's Tam. Alright, go for it, Tam. For king and country. Right, budget review. I've actually lost support thanks to the Chinese getting to the moon first. I'm not going to be getting an extra 50,000 per month for a while. On the flip side, getting another 5,000 support is quite a big ask, so I don't really think that was too impactful on us. Right. Seems a little fat on the bottom. I hope this bottom part detaches out soon enough. Marvin. Lifting up Marvin might be tricky. Oh god, three crew. That's everybody. We're going to be putting in Kaladin, Maharaja, and the JJ. So does that mean we get all of their bonus when we put them in there? Will we get extra science and launch reliability? JJ doesn't matter too much for their bonus because all they do is recover quickly. Also, when do they become better astronauts? They're all just tier 1s right now. Well, it doesn't matter. Up you go. You're going to be playing second fiddle to the Chinese up there. You're a national disgrace, you three. And what is the what do we get out of this mission? Support and science. Unless we really want to have 
better reliability. The payload is fine, I'll be doing this manually. It's tempting to get better launch stuff so we don't have these three blow up on their way up there. Oh, but I don't want to wait. Tell you what, we'll do February. If the conditions are good, we'll go for it. If the conditions are not good, we'll delay to March. Yeah, seems good enough to me. <laughs> no preparation for you guys. Can't let the Soviets up there. It's amazing just how fast the Chinese were. Well, they are our rival. They probably saw us working towards that and decided to leapfrog us. Would it really be bad if they did blow up? No. No, but it would look bad for the agency. Good for Earth, bad for the agency. You know how it is. The game flew under my radar completely. It looks fun. It's really fun for the first few hours, and then after a while you start realizing it's just a game of mini-games. But I'm still having my fun with it. The mission succeeds, we get second place. If it fails, we lose all the astronauts. That's a win-win. I do wish coming in first place or not had a bigger impact. It's the critical point about doing the Mars mission, but for everything else, it's just a very small amount of support that you gain or don't gain. Basically a management version of Half-Life. Set pieces aren't far off in any camera. <laughs> Let's not talk about Half-Life. So, it's the launch day for Isaac. I wouldn't say it's the greatest looking launch day in history. Do they ever do launches during rainy days? Oh boy, I'm not taking that. Atmospheric sampling can wait. Although again, I really wish I could look at the schedule before doing this, because what if there's not an optimal date for months to come? Okay. We can do March. What I should do in that case is, uh, for example, today is crude moon landing. It just it locks me out of looking at the dates. Why? Why? If you commit to rescheduling and then you can't schedule for a year, that's a big impact there. Ah, there we go. For some reason we chose a clearer day for this one. Apollo 12 was hit by lightning twice. <laughs> I can't imagine that being a problem, right? Surely these things are built to withstand that kind of interference. Okay, Marvin, you couldn't have asked for much better conditions. Very low chance of failure. Get up there. Yeah, we are launching from French Guinea. I've been reliably informed that it's uh, proximity to the equator is good. You're going a bit off the side there. Please don't. Okay, apparently it was to plan. Don't like how quickly these things go off the side. Whenever that happened in Kerbal, it was bad news. Alright, off you go to Earth orbit. And... Loving the level ups. Now, didn't I say I would auto resolve this one? No, this is the crude moon landing. We absolutely want to do that ourselves. I said I'd do milestones myself. Oh, everybody's just waiting for more fireworks. We had one in the first ever session. I've been good at keeping the things from exploding since then. Right, what are we needing? We need 30. 30 and 12 turns with a constantly decaying amount of thrust. Hmm, well, we have we have crew to help us out here. It's good to liquidate the crew into resources. That's a lot of resources to liquidate them into. Might be a good idea just to get all of that to get resources flowing. I do need Wi-Fi, though. I don't particularly need batteries. But batteries can be turned into lots of Wi-Fi, which is good. And also lots of compasses and Wi-Fi, which is also good, but not as good in exchange. Alright, we'll take it. Don't let me down, guys. The crew must be incredibly demoralized being second fiddle to the Chinese up there. Right, that worked out fairly well. I don't have loads of power to burn, though, so let's try not to do too much of that. 
Lots of batteries sounds good. We have lots of batteries, so get me lots of Wi-Fi. And if we do that, we've practically got everything that we need. But how do we get the thrust? Ooh, the thrust costs Wi-Fi. Right, undo some of that. Get me the Wi-Fi instead. I need to save... Oh, that's the only way to get thrust. I'd save that for that, but it also gives us... Okay, that's actually plenty. Confirm that, don't fail everything, and we're good. No failures? Oh, there's our, there's our long-awaited failure. Uh, just resist it, we have the power. In fact, we've got everything that we need, we just need to recharge our power and thrust twice. And we're 10 out of 10, 11 out of 10, and oh Christ, I need 10 here, whoops. Well, good thing I've got an extra turn, otherwise that would have gone Pete Tong. All right, but not a problem. We can we can handle a bit of decaying thrust. And we'll get it all back. All right, all we need to do is get that, and then we are no longer good, are we? Because now I need my two bits of Wi-Fi back. Who's going to give me two bits of Wi-Fi? You are. Also, you are. You might be better for it. So if I get that and then control my burn and get a bit of power, 12 out of 10, 12 out of 10, 11 out of 10. And it's impossible to fail. Go. Shove two crew out the airlock and then we have everything we need to control our burn. There we go. But that was just one part of it, I believe. What's next? Paladins, Chinese, JJs for the Russians, we're never getting to the moon. Right, achieve lunar orbit, but we probably have to achieve lunar descent after this, right? I can think of a way to do that. Uh, we have 12 turns to get 35 resources, that's a lot. Looks like it's exactly the same. No, it's not exactly the same, it's just similar. Right, burning power for insane amounts of resources is rather nice to begin with. Let's just hope it doesn't all fail. Good start. Now... God, I need lots of everything, don't I? I mean, it'd be nice to just do more of that, wouldn't it? But I suspect I can't just burn all my power like that. Burning that is pretty good, though. And I do want some extra power where I'm going. I don't trust my lack of power here. Immediately. Uh, that's only one there. I think I'll accept that one lack. Now. God, I need a ton, don't I? the biggest payoffs here. Lots more Wi-Fi. Turn those Wi-Fi into lots of batteries. Actually, I only need five batteries, so I should be spending those batteries where I can to get uh, more of the other resources. So how about that and that and... Mm. need my compasses. If I did that, I'd have an extra bit of Wi-Fi left over. But then all I'd need to get is a ton of compass, which I can do with you. Is there any way to get four Wi-Fi? Well, you get me four Wi-Fi, that's what I'm doing. Why not three times gyro? This, this, and this. Do I have what it takes for that? Oh yeah, and then I've got spare. Good call, Marvin. That is a good call. See, this is why we need Marvin in space. Makes all the good calls. 
So now all we need is a little bit of Wi-Fi, and we can get that for chucking two people out of the airlock. 17 out of 15, 5 out of 5, 16 out of 15. Easy peasy. <laughs> An error with the capsule's altitude. Yeah, we're slamming two of the crew into the earth. Well, that's fine. But now we need to, yeah, do that descent. So we're actually coming down. We are coming down. Crikey, I'd be sure I'm going to die if I was in their shoes. And you're going to be eternally buried with Khaled and JJ. Well, that's assuming that I'm Nick, the straight man of the bunch. Right, 35 of these needed in 12 turns. Hmm. Again, we can get buttloads of resources here, which is rather nice. Costs a lot of power, though, but a good amount of resources to start us off. Can't go wrong. And we need all of them this time. Good. Also good. Also, also good. Now then... You're really just looking for the best payoffs here. One power to four of you is really good, but this is this is just really good overall. The only downside is that it costs power, which makes it not particularly turn efficient. I do like getting all that Wi-Fi though. I could do something like that. Eight, eight, and eight is pretty great. It's pretty great. Doesn't leave me needing much because I can do. I can turn you into the Wi-Fi and then just get a little bit more of the other two with this. Although we have slight grinding issues like that, I don't want to spend my power just yet. So I will accept the loss of one Wi-Fi. And that gets me those, and then it's just a case of getting myself all the Wi-Fi that I need. Is there anything else that'll get me lots of Wi-Fi? Uh, better, better to be patient and get it next turn. We have been neutral on the drift, and all we need is three, which we can get from there or even there. See, easy stuff. It was never a question that I wasn't going to get the big bonus. 16 out of 16, 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10. If I left this to auto-resolve and it uh, didn't get me the extra bonus, or even worse, failed altogether, then that just would have been tragedy. Okay, down you guys go. Be sure to land directly on top of anything Chinese. I mean, did we really get much out of walking on the moon, or was it like the Dutch tulip industry? Maybe I just can't appreciate these things. Also, how in the world did they get off of there? <laughs> One small step on the Chinese flag. One giant leap for the European speedrun assembly. Oh, crikey, we need to get out of there. Dock with the command module. Nobody said I had to take these guys back. Right. Twelve turns. This time I don't have to make quite as many everythings. But Wi-Fi is of no use to us here. Well, not for the final goal. What can we spend Wi-Fi? Ooh, Wi-Fi gets spent rather nicely there. Well, that's too good. Too good to pass up. Ah, but our drift must be perfect. I should have looked at that first. Is it going to fail and I don't have to take that drift? Um, 
Maybe I don't want to drift that far off. Let's resist that. Okay, that means I need to correct my drift by spending two batteries. But I can get those batteries back using Wi-Fi and crew, and then it's just a case of getting all of the compasses that I need, which seems easy enough. Um, yeah, that should work as long as we don't have lots of failures. Yeah, so I assume if this fails, it drifts off course, and then we never get our astronauts back. Which, frankly, doesn't seem like the worst deal I've ever heard. Right, so now it's just a case of getting all of the compasses, which is power-hungry. That works pretty perfectly. 10 out of 10, 18 out of 18. Perfect drift. Just can't afford two failures. Well, there's one of them. And there's not the other one. You're coming home, lads. Again, I would not be trusting that. Crikey, it's not over yet. Now we have to not fry our astronauts alive as they make their way back to Earth. Already looks a bit smoky, though. <laughs> oh god, it really is. Right, so it must be kept below 4. It is currently 4. And it gains between 1 and 5 every turn. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. The crew opened up the final page of the instructions in orbit. You have all the information needed to return home. Jenks, at that point I'd just be jumping out the airlock, aiming for the water. Right, well, we need to start spending all this fire that we have. Spend some fire on getting Wi-Fi, spend that Wi-Fi on putting out the rest of the fire and gaining some batteries. Batteries can be turned into much needed compasses and Wi-Fi. Sounds good to me. You currently have unused slots, so... Hmm, so I do. What else do we want to do with ourselves? Well, spend those. Glad the game told me that. Okay, so we've doused out the fires using their bodies. <laughs> oh, came up with a more efficient method. Right, so as I understand, sometimes your crew can just do things better. That was probably Nick. I wonder if the crew can ever do things worse. Probably also Nick. They're getting it done efficiently. Alright. So how much heat are we getting? Just two. Well, two can be spent. Don't want to use Wi-Fi for it, though. I need to gain Wi-Fi. So we'll burn it to get some Wi-Fi. We need a ton of compasses, though. Mm. That and that gets me a lot of compasses, so we get a fair leg up there. And we still have power for when things go wrong. Alright, make it so. Excellent start. Damn near perfect start, look at him go. Although I don't know why that's putting it down to the crew. I mean, we, we did the high roll. Hmm. Oh well, I'll take it. Are we going to see it again? No, maybe sometimes the crew overwrites this. Don't know. Don't know exactly how that works. Alright, and our heat gain this time is another two. Nice and middling. Let's do what exactly... I quite like getting the batteries, even if it costs me Wi-Fi, because I can turn those batteries into Wi-Fi and 
compasses. And if I do that, then everything is wonderful. Unless three of these fail. Then we've got 14 out of 12, 22 out of 20. And we have another turn, even if this goes wrong. Which it won't. Barely, but it won't. Maybe the crew give a chance to turn any success into critical success. Yeah, but they turned critical success into critical success, making it feel like a waste. Maybe there was something to it that I didn't get, though. Worth looking into. Don't let me down, crew. Easy peasy. And that's the thing, all of these are really easy. That's why I'm very hesitant to hand it over to Auto Resolve. So are we just leaving that junk up in the orbit, or is it going to burn away in atmospheric re-entry? That can't be free. Secure the astronauts by Coast Guard. There we go. Ugh, being second fiddle, though. At least you get an achievement for it. One small step. We're saying these guys have small shoes. Alright. Thanks to JJ Hoho -Ho being so <clears throat> athletic. He only takes three months to recover. And now the game's trying to tell me something. Oh, it's giving me information about the crude moon landing. Well, what do you have to tell me about it? Landing humans on the moon, hugely significant milestone, granting a substantial amount of scientific knowledge. I'd, I'd really like that expanded upon. What knowledge are we really getting? What use can we put it to? Prestige, public support. Wasn't that great. Spacecraft must escape the gravity well of the moon. Departure must be da 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 da. Complex final step. All the innovation and engineering expertise and courage. NASA did it way faster than we did. Buzz Aldrin and Michael Collins. Da 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 da. -da. Well, good for them. I'm gonna step off the land now. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Really practicing that all the way up there. Buzz Aldrin going, oh come on, Armstrong, enough with that small step malarkey. Why is there wind on the moon? All right, mark all those and get out of here. On Very Hard, you have to beat the Chinese before February 1969. Crivens. Wouldn't know where to start with that. In any case, got it done. I can go and do that other Japanese mission that I'm somewhat interested in, because the Japanese are going to pay me. It's my favorite part. Wait, what even is the job here? A demanding global positioning of a navigation system. Is that precursor to GPS or something? No point cheapening out here if the Japanese are going to pay for it. So let's just get ourselves a standard one. Wait, it doesn't look like the Japanese are paying for half of it. But I'll believe that they are. Still working on the contractor office. We have loads of science coming in to get it done. And how's that Mars readiness looking? We gained experience, but everything is still abysmal. We recommend that you reach a minimum of 60% readiness and complete at least two Mars prep missions before considering launching the mission. You need to do all the research, dang. I suppose you kind of want to cut away some of them and beeline for this, but some of them give Mars expertise, don't they? I'm assuming the mission gives that expertise, not the research. But that might just be an assumption. The research that I'm doing right now does give Mars expertise, two of it. But again, I don't know if that's for researching or for building. No idea. There we go. Oh, well. Photographs taken during your recent uh, moonlight. So we made back almost all the support that we lost. An image of astronaut Kaladin's footprint on the dusty lunar surface proved extremely popular. Ew.
All right, is it sampling a clock? Is this the first time I hand it over to the auto resolve? Alright Isaac, you look very slim compared to some of the other rockets we've had. Launch reliability isn't amazing, but I'm sure you'll be fine. Alright, didn't explode on the launch pad, and is not immediately veering off. Kind of veering off now, quite a lot, but no explosions are good explosions. Splendid job. Now, the tricky part, hitting that auto-resolve. There's no chance it can fail, but if I just did this myself, I'm certain I would just get the extra bonus. Alright, are you sure you want to auto-resolve? Not really, but do it anyway. No bonus on it. Oh, I wonder if you get extra Mars preparation bonus if you get the uh, the thing done well. Hmm. Okay, well that's flying off. We're still using up all of these and we're waiting for our extra... Wait, I didn't build that thing, did I? The whole point of getting that sweet uh, mission control expansion was to actually build the thing and I forgot to do that. Ah, uh, the worst minigame in this whole game is this building on your god-awful uh, rock-infested French Guinea headquarters. What was rotate again? R? I'm sure there was a rotate button. Alright, there we go. X for rotate. Reputation up for joint mission. Science reward. Seems about the only thing I can plug you into for a bonus. But the costs, the costs are astronomical. Bad. So sad. If I plug you in here, I'm going to feel the burn for having uh, wasted space. I think it's a wasted space burn, however I look at it. Eh, I'll put you in there. How much money could it cost to remove a dang rock? Loads! It's prohibitive for the Romans, and it's prohibitive for me. Alright, half jacks. Let's get you done. It's a big rock, so why did we set up in the Rockies when building our little space agency? Right, the mission's complexity is going to make training harder. A shame, but just train for longer then. Oh, dang. Right, well, I will assign JJ next month when he's good to go. Test for recovering astronauts, right, well. China failed to launch Mercury. Why couldn't they have failed on the moon? Nobody cares about Mercury. It's too hot. I wonder if there's actually any reasonable uh, gain in checking out the outer planets. Probably good experience for doing Mars. Why are we so insistent on Mars? Do we think we could live on Mars? Doesn't look very livable. Looks quite inhospitable even. But maybe it's full of nice resources. Probably. Couldn't we just harvest all the other planets and then bring them to Earth? I don't know. These are these are big picture questions for which I don't have the answers to. We can live on Mars if we spend the next millennium terraforming it. There we go, that's big picture thinking. Phobos, time for you to go. Are you considered rich now? I don't know, I don't think we have that much money compared to the cost of these rockets, sadly. These rockets are starting to cost many millions of 
galactic credits. Oh, fantastic conditions. You couldn't ask for better. Alright, get on up there. I don't like those sparks. Why would there be sparks? Okay, I'll believe it. I just don't like the veering off. Because the veering off is what I really noticed on the first one that went wrong. Hey, there we go. All the better for handing this over to the auto-resolve. So what do we have here? 4% chance of failure, 29% outstanding. Completed one similar mission. Yeah, flawless ascent. Alright, I'll just put it to the auto-resolve, otherwise I'll be doing these forever. Don't show me again, please. Mmm, no bonus reward. It hurts. It hurts a lot. Okay, now we can fire off JJ Ho Ho, because these guys are too unavailable. Who needs to recover from six months? Crikey, absolute work shy astronauts here. Right, what is this mission even about? Support, science, reputation. That launch reliability is a joke, so let's try and make it a lot better. And get ourselves. Oh god, we get very little bonus out of this. I might even wait until January to do it. Ah, but our funding review. No, we're never going to get our funding review based on that. Anyway, we will try and. Hmm, maximum is up to 15%. I might even wait till March. Heavens knows we have the space and time for it. If it's going to take a long time, I don't have a problem with that. And I'd rather not have this thing explode on me. Opportunity cost of time, Jake. It's not worth it. Yeah. Uh, I would like it to not suck, though. All right, let's go, August. The worst thing that happens is JJ Ho Ho dies. Let's try and think about it in a positive light. Confirmation. It's only JJ. <laughs> Critical failure, seven percent. It's a bit higher than we've taken for a long time. Okay, no other missions going on, or at least no space to take other ones. Atmospheric sampling, get to it. Launch reliability down for level zero, but also build time down. I don't care so much about build time unless we're racing something. And I don't think we're racing for global positioning. I want that money. So... Again, the Japanese will pay for a huge amount of it. I like my Saturn IV. And Saturn IV needs a bit of leveling up here. Saturn IV carried by the Sa Oh, but it's so expensive. Hmm. Yeah, go with Atlas. Atlas gets the job done, and we always get it done cheaper as well. And I like that launch reliability. Time is not an issue here. There we go. Who are we gonna who are we gonna use for this one? How's the home base? Is it still filled with obstructions? Well, Shen, depending on how this launch goes, you could become one of those obstructions. But yes, it's full of expensive rocks that we struggle greatly with taking care of. There we go. Nice and cheap. And it'll make six times its own dosh when we send it up there. Thank you, Japan. And we've got our mission, that sampling. But we can just auto-resolve it. Yes, yes, of course it's going to go well. How could it fail? I'm not sure I like the fact that it has multiple chances of failing at those reduced odds. And, oh. Could have gotten so much more money if we'd done it ourselves. That does, however, free me up with a mission slot. So... 
We never did multi-crew orbit, and I don't think we will. It's time to start thinking about Mars and beyond. I want my own space station. China have already... Oh, China are going above and beyond on everything right now. I wanted to do the space station, but I'm busy working on contractors, which I will get there with. Hmm. Modular space stations. Vital testbed for microgravity based research. Humanity a long term presence in space. First steps ambitious. What do we get here? The International Space Station. Monthly rewards. That's a lot of science. The International Space Station costs 10,000 a month to maintain. All right, that, that's unpleasant. It looks like we need to do a lot of modular... Oh, right, you got to go all the way down here for that. And it looks like to get the Mars preparation stuff, you have no choice but to do all three of these. So you actually have to do all of these to, to get through that scary stuff. God, this game is demanding a ton of research out of me. Isn't there a building that speeds this up? Yeah, I think I want that robotics research lab before I do a lot of this stuff, because that research for all of those is expensive. Crikey. I'm going to get my contractor, then that, and then i got to start blitzing through these. Extra science a month from the space station will help. Yeah, I should hope so. In the meantime, though... God, those Japanese love me. They're willing to give a lot of reputation on this, but at this point I don't need more reputation. Launch reliability penalty due to negative launch conditions have Plenty of science, though, for going up into the moon. What else you got, though? I'm always open to the highest bidder. We're already doing that photography, hoping to get a lot of science out of it. No requests here, though, just flybys. Okay, what's a man to do then? I do like that science, and getting to the moon isn't that rough. I think you need to do at least one milestone for getting requests. That's the impression I'm getting here. I like that Mars experience, although I don't care much about the reputation. The, um... The cost reduction on this is already looking really good. Working together with the Japanese is probably going to save me a lot of money. Oh, I need to send three crew up here. Do we even have three crew to send up here? Well, we will now. On you go, Apollo. Don't know why I have to pay everything on this, though. Alright, get it done. You can always hire more. Yeah, but I don't want to. They cost me money. And I like my money. Right, Prog Rocket. Audio recording made by agencies. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Sampled by a popular prog rock. Oh, I guess progressive rock, right? The winds of Venus, the band has made a generous donate. <laughs> no, no band would do that. Contractor office get. Oh, did I get allied with the Japanese yet? I need to start looking into using their contractors. Looking like a good day for it. Not amazing, but hey, the composite casing will hold. Again, would it be too much to ask to look at the schedule before I commit to rescheduling? I don't know why they do that. Hmm. Why do we have flawless ascent plus 10%? Maybe that's just one of our uh, one of our bonuses. Oh well, off you go.
wonderful. I think you can look ahead of time. Oh, that was not so wonderful. Lose a turn on it. Well, that's for Auto Resolve to care about. The Auto Resolve will be fine. What is this mission again? Astronaut Recovery Test. That's just JJ. JJ will be fine. But please don't come back. Yeah, I think it's that delay. The sparks happen before the ignition and I go, crikey, is something going wrong here? Right, well done. Our human was put in orbit. He came back and the Japanese love us. We don't get the bonus, but gotta work on that Mars preparation. There we go and recover yourself, you supposedly athletic individual. And now we can start thinking about... All right, I need to get you, then you. God, it's also expensive on the science. And I need to build up our brand new... Was it the assembly thing? No, it's the contractor office. But I certainly do want that, despite the costs. Oh, the shape and size of it is unpleasant. Could I get my vehicle build time down? Ooh, got a bit of a double bonus if I link you up with you two. Ah, but the cost is probably more more important. But I can get both build time down and cost down. That's rather nice. The cost, though, of clearing out this rock is unreal. Why? All right, well, let's let's just get that three percent cost reduction and spend all of our money clearing rocks away. Okay, mission slot available, thanks to everything going well. And, my god, the Japanese just love to work with us. I like the way they like to pay me as well. I'll take it. Wait, was I already working on it? Yeah, I am, I am already working on that. That's the global positioning stuff. Pretty good science working over on... on this. 50% vehicle research cost for six months. Ah, that feels like it's forcing my hand there, but that is a nice reduction. Maybe I can get some headway on some of these. Don't want to though. Doesn't feel like I need them for a while. I could get some six times supplementary rockets. Additional thrust seems kind of cool. I don't use them often, but I bet they would look cool. Maybe make my existing ones stronger rather than caring too much about these new ones. Hermes is a good long term option. I like long term. Where's Hermes? Delta, Titan, Atlas, Athena, Centaur. Ah, there's Hermes. That looks like one that gets uh, put off in the shuttle thing. Virtually a partially reusable space shuttle capable of carrying large payloads. Yeah, but to get that I need four of these. I think I'll do you and then the other cheapest ones. Well, they're all practically the same, but I guess I'll go Centaur... And then, I don't even really know, I'll just pick others at random, or somewhat random. I still have that mission slot available though. I'm already working on you, I'm working on you. Publicized. I'm not sure support's worth our time that much. We got anything over to Mars? Atmospheric sensors. How about the other ones? I've done Venus. Oh, that's some good science on Venus. I think I'll do some topographic radaring then for 4,000 science. Ambitious, but not a problem. Get it planned anyway. You can see these prog rocks. 
They're getting big. Your PRT and suggested may not have been wholly unanticipated with the stunts resulting. Okay. Well, give me that money. I'll always take it. And that mission slot. Good for opportunity. Alright, so for one, let's con continue on using the, uh, the cheaper vehicle stuff here. Like I said, I want Centaur and then two others and then maybe get Hermes. Hermes is the vehicle, right? Is that different from the boosters and upper stages? Maybe there's booster, upper stage, and vehicle. But look at the cost of some of these. They're outrageous. Don't have that kind of money floating around. Hmm. Still gives me the problem of what do I even work on now? More science from doing that? I don't know. Life support tests are quick and easy to do nearby here, so I'll probably go with that. One nice thing about auto-resolving is it's saving me a lot of time. Feels more like I can play this as a strategy rather than just a mini-game game. Alright, speaking of which, don't let me down auto-resolve, because the moment you do I'm going to be very sad. Oh, wow, you even got a 50% extra. I would expect nothing less. If I was behind the helm, of course. Centaur D done. And we do we do have that bonus. Where was that bonus even showing up? I'm sure it was somewhere, right? It is still applying, I would hope. Where did it show up before? I thought it was up there. Ah, here it is. Of all the places. Right, minus 50% cost for six months. Oh, hang on. I don't have this reward yet, do I? Ah, no, I need to do another milestone. I'm wasting all my science here. Whoops. Okay, get back on this. I just assumed that I had that bonus because it was showing up there in gold, but no. No, I did not. I need to finish first in two milestones, but I... Oh, well, there's a good incentive for finishing first. I'm not really working on milestones right now. How's our Japanese alliance looking? Pretty dang allied, so I can start using their contractor. Their really good contractor. 30% build cost, yes please. How are the crew looking? Well, JJ's out for another month, otherwise he's fine. Alright, we're good. Carry on then. Report reward down, why? Failed to capture the public's attention. Yeah, space will do that. And cost down for new parts. Only 50% though, I like the 90% cost down part. It's a lot of things ready, a lot of things I need to plan in close succession. Right. Studies. Cost down, always good. Having to use big, bulky parts, maybe not so good. Oh gosh, that's not great. Right, doesn't matter, I'll take... Mm. I'm not sure which I prefer between the Saturn 2 and the Saturn 4. The Saturn 2 can carry much bigger stuff, but your leveling doesn't matter too much. So I'll just go with this. You must research this part. Well, that's not happening. Saturn 5, get up there at enormous cost. And now, let's put it to use. Available due to diplomatic relationship with Japan. I should hope so. That's a nice, juicy reduction in cost. And hopefully it stacks with you. Holy moly. Minus 30, 40, 50, 60, 77% cost down. 
Yeah, I can get behind that. I can very much get behind that. All right, who's who's going off here? I think it's going to be Chumro. How dare he call me blind? The Japanese are picking up the tab as well. Oh, it's practically free. Well, that should be some... Oh, we get advanced weatherproofing. Don't think I'll be using that, though. It seems like a waste of time. But the support and the science? Yeah, I'll get behind that. Maybe I'll be able to do the Mars journey with Japan since we're so close. Okay, topographic. topographic. All zero level parts are cheaper. So I could start using this new centaur thing I've got. Not very reliable, though. <laughs> what are we going to blast you off with? Ah, oh, man. I don't have any level zero boosters, though, do I? No, none of these are researched. Right, much as I like that reduced cost, maybe I should use something with considerably more reliability. But the cost... Also consider the leveling up reliability here. Also consider the experimental fuel. I think I should use the Centaur D to start getting that thing leveled up. Although, what's the point in having a high level thing if you don't use it? What's the point indeed? Lower the cost, lower the cost some more. And then we're going to be sending Moss Moris and Italian has to get into space eventually. What am I even doing this for? For the science, of course. Nothing's too expensive for a bit of science. Also, everything I do is giving me Mars readiness, so I should just be getting those done regardless. And now the life support test. This is a crew one, right? A crewed spacecraft. One crew goes up. Very good. Science reward. Do we get science out of this one? A reasonable amount. So let's just do this as cheaply as we can. That'd be the old Ariane with more Ariane. Getting it done cheaply and cheaply. And off we go. This time we'll send up Urkran plus his underscore. Why even test life support? What could go wrong? We'll do it live. Alright, this all looks very well. At least now if we fail, we fail cheaply. Looking forward to things getting even cheaper when I get the extra bonus. Uh, for the contractors, that is. Alright, they all look good to go. Let's continue on. Oh no, not the funding review. Let's not talk about that. Right, we got this, but now I really need the robotics. After I get the robotics, hopefully I can storm my way through these milestone missions. So I can hope at least. Right, Japanese share booster improvement. Shen gets even better. I'd rather a more long-lasting thing coming out of our alliance, given that I've outright given Japan entire technologies. Whoa, where'd I get all that from? Maybe that was the whole getting on the moon thing. Trouncing the Chinese. They might have done it first, but we did it better. Alright, more Phobo photography. Right, Shen. Training is garbage, but launch reliability is amazing. So let's just try and get that payload up. And then get you... Why even wait? If March is a clear day, actually... It would have to be a god-awful day not to be good enough. Well, let's go with that anyway. Off you go. And then you're ready to keep on going. Okay, we didn't immediately hear the triumphant noise, so I got a little bit concerned there. But... All the photos of Mars's moon you could ever want. Not getting me that 50% bonus. Shocking. This is good, though. Feels nice to have this kind of progress going on. <laughs> the Chinese might have sent their people to the moon, but the French sent JJ. The world was happy to not have JJ on it for a while. 
Right, so with that, I've got a slot opened up again. You want to give me money? Launch reliability. Ooh. Not to mention a hefty amount of science. That sounds really good. Unless the moon offers something better. I'm already working on that one. Mars? Global surveying and Mars readiness. Modifier Mars tech test up. Yeah, 50% doesn't seem that big. It only gives 2%. This one gives 2% and a nice bonus. So despite this being, as it says, challenging, I think we'll plan ourselves a space maneuver unit. Hell yes. We're going to need two crew, but we have three in total, so that's fine. All right, get on up there. I don't need the Japanese helping me out here. Although if they want to, they're more than welcome to. They want to tell me about the Titan 3 cent. Ooh. Looks a little hard to balance, though. I'd rather have three or four or six rockets around it. In total, it made seven launches. That doesn't sound like a lot. Consider all the launches I do. And I believe we got something new for the base. Yeah, the vehicle build time. <clears throat> I'm not sure I care about that, especially given that you're going to cost me an arm and a leg. And you are huge. Normally huge is good, but you are enormous. Yeah, forget you. Hopefully you're not vital for anything else. 50 science per month. Ugh, that's really not a lot. But it might be worth it. You are small, though. Small is good. I might... Squeeze you in over here so we get the 2% bonus and the extra science per month. And then I could shove you over a bit. Although part of the problem, I think, with moving you was... Uh, there's no real problem. That's actually nice and tight. But we won't do that until we need the space. Put it next to the lab. Gives like 20% science. I'm not sure if my other lab even has space for it. Also, which, which of those is my lab? That's my lab. Doesn't appear to give any real bonus. Do we need to keep our older and smaller launch pads? I don't know. I don't know if you have to do small launches from a small pad or not. Well, it's probably insignificant. Let's carry on. Although it's telling me to look over at Mars for some reason. Couldn't imagine to figure out why. Right, gaining support. Water on Mars. Trace amounts of water, hinting the possibility the planet could once have supported life. So what's the current belief on Mars and its whole water and life thing? Is there or was there any life there? And could we use that water? Right, Japan, if this goes Pete Tong, it's all your fault. And if it goes amazingly, it was all thanks to ESA. Clear conditions, couldn't ask for better, although the launch reliability is already through the roof. There is water, but no life is the current belief. Uh -huh. Okay, that, ooh, adequate. Small chance of negative event, but it'll be fine. Off you go. How would we be able to support life there? How would we get oxygen? Maybe we could just make it so it could support oxygen generating plants. Don't know. Again, all this is beyond me. I don't know or care much about space. Even as a wee kid, it just didn't seem very interesting to me. Right, auto resolve, don't let me down. Easy peasy. Ah, oh, looking back on it, should have done it manually to get the 50% bonus on that money, but it matters not, I suppose. 
and freezes up here. Although, running out of requests that I could reasonably do. I'm already working on the topographics there, and we can't do anything in Mercury because we haven't done at least one mission. The moon's gotten out for me, and I'm not sure I want to globally survey Mars. But maybe I should, since I don't seem to have anything else going, and it'll be a while before I get other missions available. It just costs a lot of money. I don't like spending lots of money. Alright, well, off you go. Let's just go to Mercury, Jake. Bite the bullet. Yeah, I don't have the tech, though. Also, haven't I been to Mercury? Oh, I do have the tech for it. Huh, maybe I should bite that bullet, then. Hmm. All right. Well, when we have uh, when we have something freed up and not another really good mission for it, need to research more sunscreen. Okay, excellent. That's that's really very welcomed. Twenty five percent bonus on that cost reduction seems overpowered. If it was trivial to get oxygen from CO2, we'd do that already on Earth. But plants do it really well. But they need water. Plenty of water. Most of the planet's water. Vehicle upper stage gains three levels. Mmm. Tempting. Now this is that space walk. Our engineers have developed a rocket pack to allow crews to maneuver freely outside the capsule. Test it out. And get some reinforced tank walls for it as well. I don't like that lack of reliability, but I do like that gaining three levels. What do I want to gain three levels? The new Centaur? But the launch reliability is going to be really low. The Centaur is already very low. Getting three on you seems too good to pass up. But I don't know how good that Centaur is. I mean... The Ariane's never let me down. Why would I even care so much about the Centaur D? I could do the Saturn instead. There's still a lot of Saturn that I use. Yeah, getting the Saturn IV up three levels sounds really rather nice. Let's go with that. And blast off the Saturn with the Saturn V. And whilst these costs look enormous... Actually, they are enormous. Why am I even doing that? Couldn't I do it much more cheaply with you? Come on, there's no good reason I should be wasting all of my money like this. It's just a shame that I'm using a level 5 thing here. The Titan. The Titan is cheaper. Yeah, let, let's get the Titan done nice and cheaply then. It gets the levels. And we get the Astronauka thing with the composite casing. And just like that, it's practically free. The Centaur is cheap. It is cheap. But then I can't launch it cheaply if I do that. The objective is to be the first one on Mars, silly panda. The game is over when we send people to Mars. Alright, sounds good to me. Alright. And you know what, we'll call this one after you. So this will be the silly panda. 3, 2, 1 as well. Okay, it feels good getting everything done nice and cheap, though. Playing this game without the Japanese contractor is probably considerably harder. Because everything's going to cost at least twice as much. So what are the Soviets up to right now? Wait, a Mars flyby? Didn't we do that forever ago? The Soviets are incredibly slow on the space race. Kind of surprising. Maybe they haven't yet figured out to use pencils in space. Save the designs, Jake. It'll save you so much time. Nah. Well, maybe someday. Only vehicles upper stage reliability counts towards launch reliability. Is that good or bad? Urkran has fewer optimal launch windows. Uh, well, that, that's not good. Okay, let's get you out there. Time to do some life support tests. I'm not sure if we want to test life support on JJ. How good's the mission? Mm. 
Launch reliability is good, but not amazing. Could be a lot better. Although I do like getting science. Alright, Maharaja, you're heading up there. Now, when when's good? September's good. 15% bonus on whatever here. I'm, I'm doing it for the science. Yeah, oh, I really don't like that payload reliability or that payload unreliability. We could work on that. Have a considerably better chance of success. No, believe. We want the science, so just believe in their ability to make it work. And then otherwise, the global surveyor needs a rocket. Only the upper stage counts. Well, the Agena is incredibly reliable, so it's hard to say no to you. Titan would get you up there, but so would Atlas. It's hard to say no to Atlas. And who's this going to be? Well, 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 well. I think we'll call you the Where the War Mark II. Since you're the one telling me that maybe we should save the design. See if that helps us out. Now get up there and get me that sweet juicy science. And blow my ass up. One can only hope. Nah, you've got loads of reliability, you'll be fine. Okay, continue on. The science really is critical as you get later on. I can see that. So we've got our robot lab up so we can start working on those missions cheaper. So, publicized life support test. Oh, that means that this messes up. That's very expensive on the support. So don't mess up out there. Pencils are bad in spacecraft. They loo the loose carbon chips can cause electrical fire inside the craft. Yeah, so don't use carbon then. Use something else. Use charcoal. Use paint. Right. Couldn't ask for much better conditions. Off you trot. Good to see that we're not having any more explosions. Pathetic attempt, but still good enough. Right, let's test that life support. Okay, it's it's not gonna fail, surely. Still feels like a paltry amount of science, probably because it's spread out over four months. But we do need to redirect our science towards some missions now. Spend your time recuperating, and now we need to start thinking about what we want to work on. I would love to start working on a proper space station. It looks really cool. So we're going to work our way down there, as expensive as it may be. And we need to make sure that we actually build ourselves up our brand new robotics research lab. It takes a year to build, that's scary stuff. It means a year of not getting the sweet bonus. Mm, 3% extra science on reward. Extra science per month and science per mission sounds good, but I can't build here. We, we don't have the technology to fill in this tiny little lake. I ever mentioned that this is my least favorite part of the game. Right, well what I could do is otate you over here. But then we lose the science per month from that. Mm, how about you being here? You have a bonus with ease. That's 5% extra science. I like that. So I'm going to move you over here. I can't move. Ah. Ah. 
Hmm. I'm just gonna make two uh, make do with a two percent reward. I think I'll just throw you over here at this rate. Yeah, well I need you anyway, so I'll just build you up there. And we've got a free mission slot, so space welding. Ooh. Yeah, we haven't gotten that cozy with America in quite some time. But if we can help them out with some welding. Gain reputation with NASA. What, every time I use that? That'd be cool. Mars readiness, science, America footing the bill. This sounds amazing. I'll take that mission. Take it and run. Just get a standard one done. When are you going to go over and move all your base around the rocks to get better bonuses per... I'm not sure if I'll ever do that. I do not like playing the little build your base mini game. I think I could, it's just... It's just not good. Right, carry on. Yeah, the bonuses are quite paltry as well. Soviets have finally achieved something. So here's our space welder. It's pretty much a nothing result there. Something is faster, something is slower. And Silly Panda is negating suboptimal launches. Pretty good. Off you go, JJ and Kaladin. Go and help out with this. You're going to do a spacewalk. You're going to get me those reinforced tank walls is what you're going to do. Uh, now the launch date could be anywhere. I might as well get the maximum bonus here. Now the rewards here are science and support. I like both of those things. We've been slacking on the support quite a bit, but I need the science. But support is money. Constant money. And I like constant money. But I also like science. Mmm... Yeah, hard to say no to that science. Get on up there. Now, America, let's go welding. Can I reuse the word of war? That payload reliability is a joke. But America's picking up the slack on this one. Maybe we could do things a bit cheaper. This is all just launch reliability, though, isn't it? None of them's going to help with that payload. Half the chance of a critical event during launch? No, it should be fine. Alright, we'll just use the Word of War Mark II. It means it's always been called that, which I won't agree with. We've got to change these out. Alright, we're going to call this one after the Death Bellows, hopefully. Not a precursor to what's going to be happening there. Premonition, perhaps. Get that one built nice and cheaply. And continue on, assuming everything is okay, which it is. Budget review, They're not looking amazing, but we carry on slowly and steadily to make more dosh. I don't think I'll do another campaign of this one, uh, Ephra. I was warm towards that earlier on, but the game is just so much minigame. It's not as strategically deep as I would like it to be. The custom I've seen the customization of the country, it's also not particularly deep. It's kind of a theme for the game, it's not very deep. Okay, what are we doing here? This one is the Global Surveyor of Mars. That payload looks good, the launch reliability maybe not so good, so let's see if we can't... Oh, but there isn't there a ton of science to be had here? There really is. I want that science. Max that science, believe that it won't explode on us. We'll go for April, delay to May if it's a really bad launch day. Yeah, I can get behind that. And didn't I say I was going to do the mission to Mercury and I still haven't? Well, someday I will. Once these other launches happen, of course. Alright, space station is good to go.
Mission training bonus up by 300%. Hmm, major flaw in the electrical systems. Sounds scary. Think of the science. Think of how good that science can be. Major flaw, no major flaw. No guts, no glory. Holy moly. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100% extra. Damn, there's a lot to be learnt here. We just have to not screw up. Alright, oh, I can't say no to that. It's a huge amount of science to get in six months. Well, let's continue working out how to make ourselves our own space station. Kerbal was great, but I already played that as a weekly one-shot, and I don't feel compelled to go back to it. Right, let's get globally surveying. Things go a lot faster when we cut out all the minigames, but I will still have to go in and do some manually when uh, the odds don't look so good and I need my magic touch up there. Yeah, Kerbal Space Program 2, if that's actually coming, that I would probably slam onto the long play candidacy. Okay, looking great. Get up there. 1 in 20 chance to blow up. We haven't blown up in a long, long time. What could they even innovate to make uh, KSP2? Maybe make it more more along the lines of eco economic management would be cool, but... I haven't played the game much, so my opinion is moot. I'll be needing your magic touch, all right, with my with about fifty percent payload reliability. It's okay. I've got the touch. I've got the power. Okay, that's a that's a shoe in to win. Easy peasy, and continue to pay off as you do your mission. I'm still waiting on a free slot for this. Everything else is fine. Continue on. I don't know what Selenological is. Oh, another mission training bonus up. 100% launch reliability penalty. Well, I don't do suboptimal launches, so never mind that. Alright, let's get to that rocket packing, or jet packing. Fantastic conditions. There we go. Luck is on my side. Get up there. Counting in reverse in a foreign tongue. That throws the head. It's like trying to do the alphabet in reverse. I feel like... Well, maybe there was a lot of launches done around this time. But it just feels like this is an insane amount of launches to be doing. Okay, looking positive. All the better for auto-resolving. Is that the strong comms giving us a plus 10% here? Well, it doesn't matter. We take it, we win. And down you come. No need for my magic touch. Well, that was another EVA. We've done those before. Happy to get the extra bonus there, and that's a fat lot of science to be getting. Stuff showing new space stations and whatnot looked really good. Not really been following the news closely. What's that new stuff? It's news to me. Right, unless there's a really good mission showing up here. Mm, and I do like the Americans footing bills. No, let's actually go to Mercury. I want it opened up for new requests, so... History contained within Mercury's crater surfaces surely merits the effort. What secrets? The Soviets and the Americans both know these secrets, so the rest of the world surely does. Regardless, let's get it done. Um, yeah, just send off a bog standard one. We've got the money. Shame I can't reduce the cost of those. And 
Ooh, we got a slight problem. Our crew was just knocked out by that uh, that last mission. And I'm not sure I want to wait for them to get better. It's six months to wait on Khaled and three on JJ. So, we should probably go over to the crew thing and hire ourselves two more astronauts. Start each task with plus one comms, or ooh, I like power. Science reward is also nice. Launch reliability is nice. Alright, I like... Well, mm, I like people that aren't going to immediately croak on me. You being 32 years old is a bit naff. You retire way too early. We only get 30 years out of you. Why do some of them want to retire early? Anyway, Edwin's coming in, so I'll just hire you, despite the high hire cost. 30 years out of you, or 27 out of you. Increase retirement age. That's 50 years out of you, Boniface. I think we'll go with that. Let's think long term on you. Alright, who wants to be our two new astronauts here? Because we're not keeping these crummy names. It's time to abuse their rights and give them their own names. Alright, one of them will be Moss Morris. Uh You're actually going to keep your horrible underscore. And then Barbieri, you will never be known as that again. You'll be renamed 222. Jung Gouda. Might as well stick with the underscore theming. Jung, Young. I'll go with Jung. I wouldn't want to confuse you with Dark Young. There we go. So now we can immediately, no training allowed, just stick you guys up into here. I hope we get all these bonuses. Which means we'll get science reward. Oh, we'll get 20% science reward then. Or so I hope. Doesn't really matter what the training is. What matters is when we can do this. Mission training increased 100%. Ah, then I really want to wait all the way till here to get the huge bonus. And I think I will, regardless of the opportunity cost of that. Launch reliability is fine. The payload is fine. The whole reason we do this is for... Oh, do I want the science? I do want the science. I do like that science, but the support... Support is money. Yeah, believe. Believe in the science. Yeah, I need to get a lot of science for all these mission researches that I haven't been doing. So let's go with that. Godspeed, everybody. Yeah, let the monkeys pull the levers for their peanuts. Right, EVA astronaut interviewed. Several newspapers have run stories on your recent spacewalk maneuver unit. I enjoy, uh, in one article, astronaut Kaladin described how much they enjoyed the experience. We had some comms issues while I was out there. When we fixed them, turns out Mission Control was yelling at me to come back in. Time passes more quickly. We've got an entire planet to look at. Kaladin playing fast and loose with laws in space. Alright. That's what I'm interested in. Getting an American alliance by doing some welding in space. Assigning astronaut JJ Hoho will increase the payload mission training bonus by 100%. What? JJ Hoho performed admirably in test simulations using its... Oh god, but isn't JJ out for the count right now? Only for another month. We will put JJ on this one then. But I need to wait for somebody else to be ready as well. Oh god, do I have to hire somebody else? These are starting to be very heavily manned, aren't they? And I don't like paying these constant salaries. They may be small, but they really add up. I either wait a long time or have somebody else up there with JJ. And I didn't like the look of these people earlier. I'll probably need them eventually. Let's let's observe. 
The vehicle is okay, the payload is not okay, but the payload reliability will be terrific with JJ up there. So we can just hire whoever. You can fire them after the mission, very tempting. Of course then you eat that higher cost for no good reason. Maybe you can just get the cheapest one. Alright Bruno, I'm gonna give you the most throwaway looking person's name here. Hmm... I couldn't name you after Cool De Bruges, he's too cool for it. Yeah, I agree. Rook is a throwaway character. On you come, Rook. I wonder if we're going to get a negative event for firing somebody. Uh, oh, I should have waited till next month. Now I've got to wait to pay you. Ah, oh, what a waste. Okay, next month then. Only the upper stage reliability counts. No big deal. Right, space welding. JJ, you're up. Rook, you're joining them. Training for... Well, let's see. There's science to be had here. So get the science. Get as much science as possible. Ooh, we'll go for December and delay to January if it's a really crummy launch day. And having JJ up there, as we were told, increases payload mission... Oh, no, it's training bonus. Oh, I thought it was just payload. Right, well, the payload sucks, so I reckon we need that payload training. Because it's really bad. Now it's not nearly so bad. It could be even better if we push it even further. Shame, I could have done with that. Um, although I could ignore that and just do it manually. A space wedding? The space wedding between JJ and Rook. I don't know, maybe we should just go with a crappy reliability and do it for science. I mean, we do like science. I can manage that. Mm, no, no. Get that payload bonus with JJ. Yeah, confirm. It's gonna fail, it'll be fine. Right, Mercury's orbit needs a rocket. What are we going to use for you? The Agena, thrusted up by the Atlas. Keeps it relatively cheap. Reinforced tank walls for launch reliability. But it costs 100 thou. However, does that 100 thou get reduced by rocket overall construction costs? Let's unselect you. Oh wait, can I not choose both? Ah, snap! I thought I could choose multiple ones of these. In that case, it's going to be composite casing till the end of the game. Are you going to do harder difficulty? I don't think I'll come back to this game afterwards. It's too much minigame. The game is not as deep as I would like it to be, but I still want to get it finished. And you know, Alec, you are going to play a part in that. You're heading off to Mercury, and it's a one-way trip. Now, how about that global surveying? Oh, that auto-resolves nice and easy. Although we don't get the super bonus, which always makes me sad. So, working on that Skylab, we're still waiting a bit for this to be finished. Okay, but it'll be done in a month, and then all of our research is going to get that bit cheaper. And then we're going to work our way down to doing modular space stations. Now the... Where are we? Here we go. The Chinese know how to do a space station, but we'll try and beat them to getting one up there. It's not a huge bonus for doing so, but it's still there. And then let's just try to be first on all the space station stuff if we can. Because we can get that done. And can we get this done? Or is this gated by having one of these other things done, like a flyby? Possibly. I mean, it costs 10,000. Scary stuff. Alright, let's continue on. Mm-hmm. Alright. 
tell us about Venus. <laughs> tell us about how poor its odds are. And in the pishing rain as well. Again, I really wish I could check the... Check the calendar before I commit to rescheduling. Why is there not a way to do that? It's not gated. Hmm, good to know. Alright, well, these conditions are awful. It's only slightly more likely to be a positive success than a negative one. But I think we should reschedule. I'm not feeling so great today, Chief. Alright, when's your new launch date? October. Remember, we're doing this for that 100% science bonus. Don't let me down. And then once we have that extra space, we're going to definitely be working on Space Station. Good, the Chinese aren't working on it. Just can't get the staff these days. <laughs> Alright. How about this now? You feeling better, Mosmoris? Uh, not a speck of rain. Clear skies. Lovely... not sure if that's morning or evening. Looks more like dusk to me. Okay, we haven't seen a failure in something like 15 years. With conditions this good, you cannot let me down. Can you give us a countdown in uh, Italian there, Mosmoris? My Italian's a little rusty. San Catro Tre. De Uno. We're about to get an Uno reverser on us here. Well, it's not exploding, which is always a good start. Ooh, okay. We'll take it. There we go. Middling performance, which is good enough. And we get a lovely level up on the Saturn V. It really was the greatest thing. Hmm. I do really want that massive amount of science, so I should probably do it myself. Ah, uh, yeah, I, I need it. Let's do it. For an Italian, that's excellent performance. <laughs> Earth orbit? I thought we were going to Venus. Maybe we blast off after this. Oh man, after not doing these for a while, the prospect of actually doing some again is kind of like, uh But here we are. We have to manage thrust, but we can do all the thrust on the final turn, because we only need four of it. So as long as we have two batteries and a bit of Wi-Fi, we're good. This is a great payoff. One to three. And that three can be turned into four and one. And then it's just all goodies from there. That's a good start, as long as this stuff doesn't fail me, and it, it quite likely will fail me, so please don't. Oh, no. Oh, no, oh, no. Right, we have to resist that, because we need the Wi-Fi. Hey, Jake, I hope you enjoyed my first time in the Mega Man Mines. Oh, Maddock. Forgive me for expecting sterner stuff out of you. Don't worry though, I'll think up some adequate replacement for Mega Man 2 and 3. Right, gonna reduce our batteries or spend more power. Mm. It's gonna leave me with very few batteries, but I don't want to burn all my power. We need that stuff for the Italians' continued failures. Recht, gotta remember that I need a ton of I need a ton of compasses here, which necessitates a ton of Wi-Fi. Hmm, that could be tough. Because the only way to get Wi-Fi is with power or with compasses themselves. So I need to be able to do stuff like this and this. It might be really hard actually to get the complete bonus myself. 
I do that, I at least get 10 of them. And then I think I just need to keep reinvesting. Costing me an additional bit of that. Well, I can't afford that, so I'll have to resist. Oh god. No. And I certainly can't reduce my compasses by two, so goodbye power. Three. This is not looking good at all. Not looking good at all. Go with that to get more of it, and then I think I do something like that and that. I might not get to that 22 at this rate. Especially if you keep failing me. Yeah, I only have six moves left, and one of them has to be spent on this, which means I need yet more Wi Fi and batteries. Yeah, I think this is going to be scraping a passing mark here. So I need to do. You, and you, and you. I don't want to do more of that, though. I could do that to get myself 16 of them. But I don't think I could get the remainder. Because I'd need another six. And that's just not going to happen. Yeah, I think the best we can do is just go for the... Well, if we have some critical successes, it could work out. But I struggle to see how else this could go our way. That four is all well and good. You can do it with no fails. Wouldn't count on the no fails happening. Also, I'm not sure I could do it even with no fails. I'd need some critical success. Yeah, well, it's easy enough to succeed with this. Well, maybe it's not. Crikey, I should probably go for the sure thing rather than just try to hope that critical success can pull me through. Mission control twice into manual thrust. Mission control twice into manual thrust. Well, I don't have what I need for uh, mission control. I need the batteries. Even the manual thrust doesn't get me those batteries. Boost transmission. And two times manual thrust. Oh. Okay, that gets me up to 14 on here. Then I'd need 8 of uh, these, and I don't have the Wi-Fi to do that twice. Unless I get a critical bonus that gives me extra Wi-Fi, which could happen. Well, we'll see. We'll see where it takes us. Oh, not to good places, that's for sure. It's going to cost me a Wi-Fi. Might have to take that Wi-Fi cost. But I think I need the Wi-Fi going forward, so I'll just resist it while we're at it. Oh, God. Mm, costing me a compass. I might take the compass cost, actually. Because I need that power where I'm going. And then it's just a case of, we'll just get the thrust done. And if I just had a bit more Wi-Fi, we could do... ...that twice. But we don't have the Wi-Fi. <laughs> Maybe if I hadn't uh, skimped on the wi No, I didn't skimp on the Wi-Fi, did I? No. No, not at all, Borg. I am not into space stuff whatsoever. I could try with this, though. 
And if it's a critical success, it will just barely get me enough. But this requires nothing to fail. So let's just see what happens. I'll just resist if things look bad. Oh, dearie me. We lose a bit of our thrust. So I don't think there's any way to, to manage this. Mm. Yeah. Oh god. <laughs> the Italians are letting me down big time here. What does this get me again? This is meant to get me three. Mm-hmm. A bright flake of paint from the spacecraft caused the tracking guide star to be lost. Output reduced by one. I mean, not that it matters too much. We're never going to get enough to, to make this one work. And that failed. Well... I was hoping we could get the huge boost to science there, but I've been let down. Oh, but we're not done yet. We have another chance to go for a critical success out there. Well, I've got to wait for it to be to be ready. No free missions, so we'll continue on. Crew for this moon landing mission will undergo additional geology training, enabling them to perform detailed examination of rocks. How interesting can these rocks be? Maybe they can figure out how to destroy the rocks on my base cheaper. That'd be nice. Right, it's piddling with rain. But maybe we could go for it anyway. Death bellows. I mean, that doesn't look great, but who really wants to wait longer for this? Get up there. How do we do this in Italian? Might be more fit fitting. Cinq, quattro, tre, due, uno. Via! Don't worry, if you explode, the rain will put out the fires and cool you down. There we go. No death for the death bellows. Mm. Oh, terrific. I knew the rain would help. And that's an easy one to auto-resolve. Pathetic <laughs> is death. <laughs> you did it. Congrats. All right, that's EVA. We've done EVA before, but that nets us the Alliance of the Americans. And you look at that, you actually got it done with a 50% bonus. Lovely. And uh, Rook, I hate to say it, I don't, but imagine that I hate to say it. You have just got to go. I don't want to pay you. You are surplus to requirements. Are you sure? What if, what if, this requires a lot of crew. Is there a way I can see that? It might be possible that I need to keep you around for that rather than just paying to sack you and bring you back. I would imagine that this requires quite a few crew. Well, there's three crew, crew capacity on you. And there's two on you. Mm, might require a semi-permanent crew at that. I don't know. I think however you cut it, Rook, you need to go. I'm not interested in someone who's willing to retire so early and is so old and crummy. So off you go. Can't be undone. Too bad. Is he available in the pool again? No, he's... <laughs> we didn't fire him. We killed him. We couldn't let him share secrets to the rest of the world. Right, let's get these studies done. Get even chummier with the Japanese. Preparation is all good. I can't, I can't open up the freaking calendar. 
It would be useful, game. It would be very useful. Oh. These guys are weeping for Chumro here. I mean, it doesn't look good. It looks really bad, in fact, so let's see if we can't reschedule this one a wee bit. Yeah, January. Probably no snow in French Guinea, so off you go. But we have that extra mission slot, so I should be able to get to work on this. Yeah, let's beat the Chinese to having our own space station. Now that sounds really cool, and I do want it, so off you trot. Could spend a lot more for more power, but screw that, we don't need power where we're going. We'll have excellent crew instead. We'll be ready in six months. Space Station Campaign Proposal. Your PR team has been have proposed an educational campaign based around your upcoming space station. Part of the campaign will involve high school students submitting ideas for experiments to be carried out by your crew. That sounds ridiculous. I don't want to hear a thing out of the kids. I've got an experiment for them. It involves a pickaxe and a long journey into the earth. <laughs> Gonna have a new coal-fueled... A uh, rocket here. Get to fueling it. Alright, hopefully it's not pouring with rain. Uh, a light drizzle. Cribbins, you're just not having your day of it, right? We had, we had another opportunity to reschedule you. I don't like the fact that this is tying up three astronauts for as long as it is, so no matter how bad it is next time, you're going to have to go. And let's get that tech test, that whole 50% bonus to Mars readiness. Um, you're already done though, so we'll just auto-resolve you. One of these has to fail eventually, right? Easy peasy. No great bonus for it, but everything works towards that Mars preparation. Now, we're already working on the space station, and we will soon research what we need for modular space station. That's an exciting prospect. But we probably need Zarya for it, don't we? We absolutely do. God, they all need these different payloads. Maddening. Right, speaking of getting paid, do we have any lucrative missions coming up? Because we haven't seen any of those in a while. We're already doing that. Hmm, there's money to be made out of Mars. I already did full boss photography. And there is a little bit of readiness to be had here. I don't care about this guidance system, but I do care about money. Then again, that's a good amount of science and more readiness. Science and support, and support is money. Not entirely sure that's worth it in terms of cost, but money is good. And we can cheapen the cost of that payload. Alright, let's do it cheap. To make more money. Modular space station research complete. Ambitious project, launch a core module containing power and environmental systems for future mod- that's, that's a good, clever way to do it. I like modular designs. Unfortunately, some things get overburdened if they're modularly designed. Things like Europa Universalis. Alright, finally, a clear day for you. Conditions are good. Now don't let me down, that's still a 1 in 20 chance for the big kablooey. How was it? Cinco, quatre, trois, deux, uno, via! That's here. Already no more Italian than I do Swedish. Hell yeah. 
Just wait and see how modular EU5 will be. Have we heard anything about EU5 other than it will eventually happen? I'm not even sure we've heard that much. It's just a given that Paradox makes uh, sequels to their successes. Which asks a big question about uh, about another Rome. We have not heard that. Okay, there we go then. Right, auto resolve. I have faith. Sounds like EU5. It's about as confirmed as Vicky4. Well, that's a bad example. About as confirmed as uh, CK4 then. Alright, yeah. it's amazing how much faster these things go through when you just auto resolve them. Shame about the lower payouts, but. I would go mad if I was still doing those little puzzle segments every time. These guys need to recuperate nice and quick so I can launch them off again, but six months, they are taking the piss with that. I think the astronaut union is just too strong in Europe. It's not amazing. Oh man. There's so much science to be had if we continue on with this ourselves. Think of the science. Think of the science. Does it show us all the stages, though? It says it's two phases. Hmm. Alright, let's do it ourselves. Yeah, 7,000 science is so much. Besides, I'm good at managing heat. Is this our Italian again? We'll be able to tell if the payload reliability... Yeah, this looks like our Italian again. The Italian appears to be on fire. Spent too long in Ethiopia, perhaps. Now, I do get 15 turns on this, which is a lot. But some of these pay out pretty well. But I can only use fire three at a time. Yikes. Right, well, I can immediately turn... Oh, God, none of these look great. I'll do this into this into... Ooh, that's not too bad. That's actually very good. Hmm. That's all a, wi a lot of Wi-Fi. But this might be considered even better, because it's 2 to 5. That is a ton of Wi-Fi. I like it though, and I can instantly turn that, uh, turn the heat into more of these, and we will get more heat guaranteed. Reject humanity, become pizza! <laughs> well, this is good, I like my pizza, I'd have a bit of crunch on it. Even a slightly blackened pizza is fine. Ooh! Oh! You've reached a golden crunch there. And we've overcooked it. Return to crispy. Um, power might be pretty important here. Let's try and hold on to what we have. Oh, but that's reduced by two. I can't have reduced by two. I need the Wi-Fi. And we're burning up. <laughs> we're on fire. <laughs> oh. That's good. Well, you enjoy the warning sounds of the burning Italian. I actually need to go get more water, as this crispy pizza is reminding me of. No sound in space except for the distressed beeping of Moss Maurice. Okay, we need to quench that fire. So there we go. Actually, that's really expensive. The payout of that. I mean, it's a 5 to 3, which isn't great. Uh, it gives me limited options to do with that. Fortunately, I can quite quickly get a lot more of you, but I think I'd rather do it by spending our 
batteries like so. And then if I spend some of my excess of Wi-Fi, we're actually in a great space with that. It's just that I need a ton more compasses. We'll set ourselves on fire soon and I'll need to spend the compasses again. Looks like I need to spend batteries to get compasses. But this is actually good because I can then spend the excess of Wi-Fi in getting yet more batteries and compasses. So it's a, it's a lovely cycle. We just need to not fail too many things, like this. Ouch. Alright, we reduce our battery output by one, which I actually think is fine, because we get too many batteries as it is, and I don't want to waste too much power. I'm going to need that for real emergencies. Whoa. Whoever thought that smoke alarm on the satellite was forward thinking? Can't be too careful. Come on. Hey. Ooh. Great success in space. And that's good because we really need compasses, lots of them. Right, and then we're going to be set on fire. <laughs> beep, beep, beep. If it's ever three at the end of a turn, we lose. So we must do this. We must always have spare compasses to put out the fire. And then we just continue on with converting batteries into compasses and Wi-Fi into more compasses and more batteries. Looks good. Nice thing is on the final turn we don't need to care about the heat level being too high. So let's continue on with that. Oh, pathetic. What happens here? We reduce ourselves by one battery, which is acceptable losses. And then we spend said battery. Oh, come on. Kaput. Hopefully it's down by one. Oh. I can't afford to be low on those, but I need, I need the power to resist any other problems that happen. So I'm actually just going to take that. Much better. Well, we were expecting to fail about half of all the checks. I'm keeping that for the final push. So we have enough to win, just about, but I need eight more compasses. Scary stuff. Right. I will need to do this next turn, no matter what. Otherwise, we're going to be set on fire. So, really, what I actually need are 18 compasses now. I hate to spend power getting that, but this will get us a lot of compasses. That's risky bloody biscuits. But if I do this, and then do that, we're home free as long as there's no big problems. Okay. Alright, let's just enjoy ourselves a crispy pizza and hope that this does not fail too badly. A huge if, I'd take it well. Excellent, right, we've chosen the ingredients well. Probably be uh, blue cheese and buffalo mozzarella. And, oh, okay, right. We've, we've preheated the oven to the correct temperature. Good. And, oh, <laughs> we've only just taken it out at the right moment to get it a golden brown. Right, we just need to slice up and serve the pizza and we're good to go. <laughs> Pizza's really hot, though. It's burning the customer's tongues. Right. Let's put it out. 8 out of 6, 10 out of 10, 17 out of 16. Perfect. Just perfect. Just go for the win. No need for cooling. No, we needed the cooling. If we ended this at, uh, at the full level, it would have been particularly bad. Right. 8, 6, 10, 10, 17, 16. Let's a go.
Mmm. Okay, now everybody burnt their tongue at the end. But we got that extra power, so we can resist. Actually, we could even afford to take the, the hit there, but let's not. I'm an Italian. I don't appreciate Jake making me hungry, says Armour's. Well, I appreciate the Italians making me a big, fat chunk of science here. Mmm. Good lord. 8,800 science. And some lovely support. Right, so that was the Venus orbit. Wait, was that that? I thought it was a request mission. Completely missed that. Was that a request or a milestone? Probably a request, right? Yeah, because the Venus orbit did it a while ago. More science, more experiments. Well, we need that science for getting Zarya, which we'll get very quickly, and then we'll be able to blast off our modular space station, which hopefully nobody else is working on. Nobody else even has the tech for it, and soon we will. Excellent. Right, and that frees us up two mission slots. Right, anything going that's good for us? Earth Oceans is tempting, because it's a science for which America foots a chunk of the bill. We're already allied with America. In fact, it looks like we all just have maxed uh, relations with them. But is there anything else that's looking better? Mars readiness for taking some photos of Mars and some good science is probably worth doing. I don't have the wherewithal to do any of these outer planet flybys. Venus doesn't have anything for me, and I still haven't done Mercury's orbit, but we're working on it. Alright, so I guess I'll go with it. Ooh, astronaut recovery. Publicized for big support. That support might be worth more to me than helping out the Americans. But I do like the Americans picking up the bill. Yeah, no, I like America picking up the bill. We'll plan this one. Do they lower the payload cost, though? And... I thought there was another one I was looking to do. Probably the Mars one, right? Yeah, because I need that Mars readiness. We've got to keep working on that. Use whatever here. Mm, yeah, just use whatever. We got the dosh. Kind of. We're slowly making more. How's the Mars readiness looking? We're getting plenty of experience, not much expertise, and no preparation. You earn preparation by completing four Mars preparation missions, so we gotta wait on that anyway. Expertise will improve, da da da, crew capacity and power, da 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 da. Earn it by completing research. Right, so you do get it from the research. Good. Alright, you know, I'm. Oh, crikey. Right. America and Japan are way late on this, but our true enemy, the double red menace. Actually, everyone but us has red in their flag. Scary. Hmm. Is support even worth it at this point? Feels like you're not getting you're getting very little bang for your buck. Kind of. Only vehicles booster reliability. Gotcha. All these commies trying to beat us into space. There's payload stability issues on you, Alex Spurdo. But the training bonus is increased by 100 percent which is great. So Mercury orbit with you. There's a lot of science to be had here, and that's exactly what I want, so we're going to train for that science. Eh, all that'll be fine, I'm sure. We're going to choose an adequate launch date, although we'll try for July for 40%. That's a nice bonus right there. Yeah, can't go wrong. I'll get to it. And then those atmospheric sensors need a rocket. What kind of rocket are we looking at? I do like using my Centaur C. Probably because it's the cheapest thing that I can use. And then launch up that centaur simply with the atlas. Eh, why do atlas when we can do it cheaper? Cheaper is better. And of course, when you make it cheap, we make it ultra cheap. 
Ah, I have access to Red Giant. If we do it faster and more expensive, that could be useful in times that I'm really racing. Could help me, say, in beating the Chinese to the moon. And this is... What is even this? NASA gives me a 25% build cost reduction at the cost of support. But I get a bigger cost reduction from the Japanese one at a tiny cost in time. So X-Star is almost always going to be beaten up by Astroka unless I'm in a race. Okay, well, once again, the Japanese pull through. They were our first friend. And who's going to be taking care of this one? I think we'll call this one Wick. But it's not John Wick. Also, he doesn't capitalize W for some reason. Go for it. Nice and cheap. Always get these things done cheaply. Because money is a constant problem. Devs concerned, uh, confirmed weaves chap contractors are just broken. Yeah, it's, I mean, when cost matters for so much... Ooh, speaking of cost... I can get a further cost reduction here. And this is on the Earth Oceans, right? We're doing this together with the Americans, so it's a good opportunity to use a new thing that I've created. Like the Centaur D. If we use the Centaur D boosted by... Ah, crap, I don't have a level 0 booster to go with this. Well, much as I like that. I think we had this problem before, didn't we? Right, we'll just do it cheaply then. Ariane with more Ariane. And then just always keep it as cheap as possible. There's no reason to pay more unless... Since it's so cheap, it might not be a bad idea to spend a little extra on getting some more science. Or even getting better launch reliability, but I have faith in that launch reliability. Yeah, you know what? Getting that 25% extra science bonus sounds quite nice. That high cost doesn't really matter because the Americans foot the bill. Yeah, I believe in that. Get to it. It is nice that there is still choice there. At least an illusion of it. Skylab. Doesn't let me rotate the thing though, does it? Just lets... well, rotates it along one axis. What a shame. 25% for 100k is more than worth it, I'd say. Extra science for the space station. Where are we at on the whole space station thing, though? Still making this, but it'll be ready in two months. But my goodness, there's some good science to be had on that. We'll see what we can do with that. Continue on. Oh, crikey, I haven't set a research. Oh, no, I had. It just finished immediately. Alright, we'll look at all these missions shortly. I'm going to look at that research of mine. That's good to go with our modular stuff. Ooh, we can keep going with this. I guess that only gates these ones. So if we go all the way down for that, that sounds pretty good. After that, though, what is there? I've got a lot of this stuff to work my way through. That grand tour sounds pretty cool. But having a modular space station sounds ultra cool. Also, it's all stuff done on Earth, which is nice and easy. Hmm. Holy smokes, look at that on the Grand Tour. But look at that on the monthly rewards. I think I'll go for the Modular Space Station, then the Grand Tour. But how are others looking at the Grand Tour? They don't have the tech for it, but the tech for that is ages away. I should look to see if anybody has Neptune or Uranus flyby. Uranus, no. Neptune, also no. Alright, hopefully with my huge amounts of science I can catch up, but I do want... I do want to do these, uh, do this, but it's expensive. Grand Tour is also... oh god, it's all expensive. Mm, get the space station, use it to boost the other planets. Russia will take Grand Tour in about three years. What's the bonus on Grand Tour? Plus, Russia might explode doing the Grand Tour. Ooh. Milestone, Grand Tour. 
Oh wow, doing it first is pretty bleh. Maybe there's a good event involved with it, but I still want the space station, so we're working on that. Let's take some photos of Phobos again. Been there, done that. But we won't leave well enough alone. Get the Ajena boosted by pretty much anything. <clears throat> make it cheaply, and then make it ultra cheaply. Unless we really want that huge amount of science. I'll be honest, that science boost. That is a good science boost. But it costs uh, a million. Yeah, I can't I can't say that. I cannot say that to the million. Too much. Too much. Rather I'd rather launch more missions. Because that way I get readiness as well. Can't forget the readiness. Time is a cost. Not much of a cost when it's that low. 90% off level 0. Man, even if it blows up, it's practically free. Oh, I didn't pay attention to that. Oh, you are right. You are right. We can finally get something done on Centaur. The thing is, Centaur needs a big booster, and I don't have a level 0 booster for it. So, in the end, it actually doesn't really save me any money. Regrettable. What are these other things we have now, though? Specialized component. Boost up with NASA. Waste of time. Half the chance of that. Waste of time. Reloy. No. No, just get it done cheaper. It's free to make it cheaper. Right, who's going up here? Looks expensive. Not a problem. Anyway, we're going to call this one the 1010 Cool X. It's one of the worst names I've ever seen in chat, but who knows? You might make us proud in space. There we go. Relatively cheap. Grab ourselves that readiness and science. Go, go. Liking that readiness building up, though. Feels like we're really working towards something here. That's fine. I like the reduction of cost. The Skylab, on the other hand, though, isn't that what we're sending up for our space station? It is. So actually, getting the cost down sounds really good. But what do we need to do? Actually, I haven't been looking into recommended techs for this, have I? It recommends me getting a Hermes. I hope that's not necessary, but I feel like it is. Well, we can get it done with the... Saturn 2 or the Saturn 5. Uh, Saturn 4, rather. We'll go for Saturn 2. We can boost it with the Saturn 5. That's expensive, so let's make it not so expensive and make it ultra not so expensive. <sighs> Takes a lot of time, though. But wouldn't I want some sweet science on this thing? No, not really. No, we'll just get it done cheaply. Alright, who's gonna be who's gonna be helping out with the whole space station stuff? You know, JJ might be a um he might be an astronaut, but why shouldn't he be a rocket as well? He's achieved enough for the agency to have a rocket named after him. Can he select more than one upgrade? I tried, but I can't. It's it's just one or the other here is very very sad all right looks good looks great even unrevealed trait it's gonna take forever to build but that's okay we're still winning on the space race station still what's up with this thing I want to make that rocket but I've got a lot of stuff to research It'd take forever to work on that two JJ's twice the chance to go boom it's telling me to go to Venus a lightning survey, half the chance of negative event. Eh, not a problem, but that science is good. That science is really good. Well, I might jump on that one next. Although, now that we have the research for it, I should get that Hermes, but I need two more of these, don't I? And we need to work on you and you and, uh, geez, both of you and then one of you and you and then... Both, uh, no, just one of you, and then the Grand Tour. So much to research, it's unreal. 
Martian volcano discovered. The Olympus Mons stands at 22 kilometers high, largest known volcano in the solar system. Even bigger than ours? Nonsense. Okay, it took a while, but we're finally going to orbit Mercury. I hope, as long as this thing launches. JJ writing, JJ has a 100% failure rate. There was actually one where it was integral that you were part of it, so that you upped the payload reliability by 100%. It was crazy, but you did it. Okay, couldn't have asked for a better day. Well, we could have, but we're launching anyway. Again, those sparks, they don't fill me with confidence. Problem with constantly succeeding in these is when we finally do blow up, it's going to feel really bad for me. But not today. Oh, well, hot damn. Easy win for our easy life. Hope I didn't need to do that manually for ultra science. That not even. Get the bonus straight up. At this rate, the final mission to Mars will be 100% blow up. What do you think I'm spending all of my good luck here? I've got a lot of luck. Okay, nothing else going on, so we carry on. Modular Space Station 2, done. Launch a module. Well, I don't even have a first one up in space, do I? I need to get that Unity. Then we can have that done, and then... Ooh, but what if I could keep going down and do all this modular space station stuff? Probably going to do it eventually, but after we have the payload Unity. I'm definitely going to work our way down to the Grand Tour, because the science on that is pretty huge. Yeah, I've got an absurd amount of luck. Doesn't always mean good luck, though. It just means the unlikely is more likely. Mission training bonus is up. That reversal is not really much of a big deal. And then there's... Wait, Anubis, did I not rename you? Must have missed one. Well, it happens. Right. First off, whip. I'm up there for the money, so all that matters is that you get this done reliably and cheaply. That's not very reliable, so let's try and work on that. Payload up. Launch date. Ooh, yeah, let's get the full, full bonus so that you actually have a chance of success. Couldn't ask for better. Get on up there. As for the Earth Oceans... Payload reliability up. Launch down. I don't like that low launch stuff here. But we're doing this for the science, and the Americans can foot the bill if it blows up. So let's get that science and get it done. Should we max the science? I don't see why we shouldn't. Yeah, there we go. Failure. Not an option. Confirm that one as well. Not very reliable. That's me, chief. Come on, I'm sure you've accomplished lots in your life. Well, I'm not sure. I'm just saying that to sound nice. Right, the Soviet Union have approached us. Well, that's a bad start. Uh, they offer their Mars lander research for a suitable donation. Ooh, that does sound good. Just spending straight up money to get tech a lot faster. But I don't know what the Mars lander research is. How do they have Mars lander research already? Well, it doesn't matter, I'll take it. Oh, the Soviets even like us for that. And it's the Chinese who I'm trying to cheese off. So that's actually pretty good for me. How much was that tech? That's Mars Lander, so it was probably about 4,000 or so. Not bad, saves me time, gets me down to payload Vesta faster. Shame about the donation cost there, but I'll take it. I keep saying there's stuff going on, probably in Venus, right? Look, unless you've got a fat stack of cash waiting for me, I'm not sure I'm interested. Although that is very nice. Any negatives when they hate you? 
Um, I don't know, but you get more funding if you have enemies. So I'd actually like to be an enemy with China. Maybe proposing some joint missions wouldn't be too shabby, but what you gonna do? 5% joint mission contribution, 3% science, da da da, but when it's this good, 8% science, 15% joint mission. Loving it, but I'd love to have an enemy. It doesn't seem easy to impact on your relations with other folks negatively, though. I really want an opportunity to cheese off the Chinese. Sounds like the Soviets are running out of money. As I understand it, there is no budget or anything like that for the AIs. Which is very sad. Right, Venus has been mapped. This data, uh, data will keep us going for decades, one of the planetary geologists commented. Simply naming all the volcanoes will take months. We've got 98% of the surface in high resolution. How, what is high resolution in the 1970s? Unity research done. And it's time for active missions on Mercury orbit. Yet more Phobos photography by Cool X. Suboptimal launch windows. Increased mission training bonus by 100. That's a, a weird one. What are we going over here for? Science. Lots and lots of science. You're not particularly reliable, but I want that sweet si- Oh, crikey. I'd have to wait forever to do this. Maybe I should... Maybe I should try my luck in May. We'll get that huge bonus, and I'll try a suboptimal launch in May. The odds of you having a successful launch aren't great, but I want that big bonus. Look at all that. Look at all that. No, I believe in you, cool. You can do it. <laughs> 140p high resolution. Alright, how about that Mercury orbit? Again, auto-resolve, just please don't let me down. Don't believe in me, but I must, Cool X. I need the science that only you can provide. There we go, third fiddle onto Mercury's orbit. It was never, never of much concern, though. Ooh, we got the 50% bonus, though, very nice. And we are storming away on that Mars readiness. Oh yeah, head and shoulders above everybody else. The game recommends that we hit 60% as I recall. That will go over and above. And with all that researching done, much as I'd like to do even more in my big old space station, it's time to work on the Mars lander. Is anybody else landing on Mars right now? No, sweet. We might be able to be the first at that. Not that it matters much, but... You know, I recall Rover being a thing, right? Was it Rover, or was that a more recent one? God knows. Like I say and say often, I'm not really interested in space. Okay. That frees us up with a mission slot. Still haven't done multi-crew orbit, but we could get working on a modular space station. It recommends that I have things. Uh, I might not have what it what I need to do this actually. International Space Station, yeah, I'd love to do that. Construction and oh, we don't get it done until we do all three of them. Ah, that sucks. Then I'm gonna be waiting ages on that. Soviets don't have lander tech? What? Um, I would assume that they had the lander tech, but not the Vesta. Yeah, rewards are deceptive, because you don't know when events are coming. Right, so, ah, uh, crikey. I would need to do this to get that full bonus then, I assume. That's a shame, I really thought I was going to be getting that, you know, here, here, and here. Well, it doesn't matter, we're still doing this one. Now, I'm a little concerned about... What was it? Was this the one that I was just looking at? Yeah. The payload costs, uh, weighs... 
21 megatons. Maybe I could boost it with... Uh... Wait, now the Saturn V can handle anything. Yeah, we'll, fi we'll be fine. The Saturn V might be expensive and takes a long time to build, but it can carry. Really is the greatest thing. I'll be fine with that then. Right, doesn't matter. We'll get it done. Do we want a more powerful version of it? Ah, it's far too expensive. Just get it done. El cheapo as usual. Look at how good it is at everything. Are we sure we can't do anything cheaper? I'm not willing to reduce that reliability, so let's just go and make that expensive thing. Ah, that hurts. So, it's all looking good. Carry on. Uh, oh well, we're working our way up here. Getting more of that funding than I'd imagined. What's the cap on the funding levels? How much are they willing to pay me for everything? Seems a little trivial at this point, but we do want to take photos of our options, apparently. God knows why. Right, Anubis, the rocket I failed to rename. It's great out there. Don't let me down. Avi. The Saturn V rocket took about 500,000 parts to build. NASA 1% fail threshold for all parts. That means 5,000 parts could fail at any time in the rocket and it would still be acceptable. Ooh, scary stuff. Ah, Anubis is a great name. And, oh, over and above the call of duty. Accurate telemetry is considered over and above. Right, just get that one resolved, unless there's a huge amount riding on this. Nah, the Earth Oceans will be fine, just gimme gimme. America foot the bill, so it's all good for that extra science. Right, opens me up with another mission slot again. That money is running real low. We got any lucrative things going? Mercury, lucrative? No. Earth, lucrative? No. Moon? Come on, I'm... Ooh, that's a pathetic amount of money, though. Like, that's barely even worth doing. I'm already working on the atmospheric sensors and whatnot. And we don't get, we don't get requests on these. Is it running low? I've only got 5 million galactic credits. The lunar radiation is pathetic, but at least it pays for itself. Hmm. This really is pathetic, but let's do it anyway. Do it cheap. Do it insanely cheaply. Build that payload and do it fast. You need 5 million for the next space station module, exactly. It's all too expensive for me. Right, atmospheric sensors, lucrative. This is what we're looking for for the DOSH. I'd love to do this manually to get the confirmed extra DOSH. It's 50% more, which is huge. But I also am like, yeah, mini games. Comes a point when you have too many mini games. You aren't doing. Atom sensors. Yeah, there's this weird thing with Twitch which sometimes it starts putting your uh, your message in backwards. And I don't know why, it just seems to happen random to me. It's been happening for the past few weeks. Conditions look good? Get yourself up there. Could we not harvest the moon? Surely there's some nice minerals up there for us. Well, actually, if we did that, we'd probably have a catastrophic effect on the Earth's, um... Well, everything on Earth. But, it would be a change, right? Not necessarily bad. It's only bad because of what we're prepared for. 
There we go. It's a shame that positive launches are actually pretty much a waste of time. Good start, good bonus. That's what I like to see. Whoops, I may have time out someone for that at some point, says Baron. Well, that's what they get for not touch typing and checking out their own message. Or maybe they just read in reverse, no problem. Okay. Oh, I do like to see that money coming in. We need it badly. You'd need to mine over 2% of the moon's mass to make a difference. Yeah, well, maybe it's got really good stuff up there. I don't know what the moon is made of. I'm just pretty sure it's not cheese. Right, again, we're just doing this as cheaply as we can. The able is pretty cheap. The booster, well, we could do the agol for ultra cheapness. Do we have anything cheaper than able? No, we certainly don't. Make it cheap, and by cheap I mean incredibly cheap. And who is the cheapest bugger that we have in chat right now? Hmm... You know what, we're going to go with the name Jetpack, because frankly a Jetpack could get this job done. We don't need this old ash rocket. There we go, get up there and make me 10 times your value, 11 times your value, 12 times? Even more if you do it particularly well. How about DDR Jake for that one? Wow, Jung. Tough. Okay, Vest is good. Now we can go and do that Mars mission for God knows how much cost. Suboptimal date. We are taking some chances with this one. Hopefully it's not piddling with rain as well. It is piddling with rain as well. Hmm... Hmm, 1010 cool X. How are you fancying your chances? I do want those photos. All right, well, best of luck out there. Go ahead, roll that dice. Still cracks me up that Marvin had his rocket explode first time and just assumed that's part of the tutorial. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, oh. Oh, no! <laughs> Would have been fine if it wasn't pishing with rain. In flight engine. Failure. Vehicle destroyed. We didn't even learn anything from it. Oh god, we actually lost out. That's what you get for insulting my name, and I have every grounds with which to do so. Oh, good thing we didn't have anybody on there. What was that even for? Phobo photography. Can we do it again? You know, better? Uh, would it, see it would seem not. It's gone. Well, no biggie. We're fine. And we've freed ourselves up a mission slot. And we can get to the research. So, with all this done, we said we wanted the... Well, we want a flyby. I'll do whichever's best. Science reward of 38 or 39... Support reward is uh, considerably better for Saturn. But Saturn is more expensive to research. So it actually costs that uh, research. Oh, no, that's over 40 months. Oh, no, 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 no. Never mind that. The net science on Jupiter is much better. Screw the support, we're doing Jupiter. My very easy method just speeds up naming planets. Alright, good. Working on it. And hey, we can go and land on Mars. Previous Mars missions have been fine, right? Uh, can't we? There we go, Mars lander. 
We're the only one with the tech for it, so let's get to work. Making a lander for Mars, pretty expensive. Also, not my problem. It'll only take five months to build. We're getting fast at this. It's trying to tell me that Venus has something for me. Good science on that lightning survey, I gotta say, but... Ah, Mars is where it's at. Do you have the parts for it? Good question. I wish it warned you if you straight up cannot do something. Uh, we have the Centaur. And I'm pretty sure Saturn V can get the job done. It's an expensive bugger, but hey, Saturn V really does get the job done. Do we need supplementaries? Improves the thrust of the attached vehicle. I hope we don't need that, but I guess we'll find out soon enough, won't we? Required vehicle parts. Okay, well, it looks like we have them all. So we're working well. Let's carry on. Ah, agencies propose international collaboration. The other four major science uh, space agencies have approached you. International collaboration construction. By accepting the proposal would grant your agency five million galactic credits. Your advisors note that the other agencies would receive significant science. I mean, how can I say no to that kind of money? We're taking it. Ah, I didn't want reputation with the other agencies. I want lower reputation with China. Upgrades have no points requirement. That's not worth anyone's time. The upgrade cost goes up a lot. Well, that's fine. We don't pay for these. All right, space station. That's probably going to require a good bit of Saturn V to blast up something like Saturn. I don't even know why I researched Saturn IV. It's so expensive and unreliable. I'd rather have expensive and reliable. Get up there, Saturn. Massively powerful, super heavy lift, liquid fuel rocket. And let's get ourselves that composite for cheapness. And what do we have here? The Soviet Union, thanks to getting friendlier with them, what is this? They'll take 38% off the cost at the expense of science. So if I'm in a hurry, I could consider that instead of the the one I get from Japan. That's nice and all, but I like my science, so I'll just take longer. Not a problem. Okay, who's going to be this big, bulky bugger? I think we'll put up the Baron. Who capitalizes the V in Vaughn, because he's probably Dutch. Alright, get on it. Just to be sure, nobody else is on it, right? Yeah, get me that space station and get me it now. It's doomed, it'll be fine. Japan's finally done a manned crude landing. China is launching space station in 12 months. Wait, is that a problem? It's a big problem. Our space station thing isn't ready for 14 months. How the hell are they so fast at building things? Dang. Well, let's hope they explode. Giant crater discovered in Mercury for extra science. It occurred 4 billion years ago. Ah, nonsense. There's a time underflow if you go that far back. They're probably not building a Saturn V. Yeah, that's probably part of it. Jupiter flyby done. Despite its massive size, Jupiter remains a mysterious planet. Launch a probe. Close flyby. Detailed study of the cosmic giant. Take pictures. Record the field. Study its complex atmosphere. Well, we can get on that, but we need to have a payload that can do it. Voyager, get on it. You really need to replace the Saturn V, it's murdering you. I'm not really sure it is. Sure, it's taking longer, but I mean, what else would I be doing with that time? Oh, I'd be able to get some level zero vehicle parts on the cheap. Right, Mars Lander, how cheaply can we do you? 
I could use the Delta K. Oh no, I don't have it researched. Never mind then. That Centaur D. I don't know why I researched this thing. It's a waste of everyone's time. Well, I know why I researched it. I researched it because I thought I was good on the um, on the 50% reduction of cost for these rockets, but I was not. Get it cheap. Get it ultra cheap, unless there's no science to be involved here. No, nope, get it ultra cheap. And let's send up the worm. Again, no capitalization. Atmospheric sensors are ready to go. They load up, launch down. Well, not like launch has been a problem for us. Now, this one's all about getting that money. So what matters is that you just do it reliably and cheaply. So just get that launch done. Everything else after that is fine. Ooh. Don't want to wait, but I'll probably have to wait for April on this one. And there we go. There's no chance that you'll fail me, so get on it. As for the atmospheric sensors, there's no chance of you failing. Well, come on. A 1% critical failure. You'll be fine. Just get me that money. Not the mega money, but still money. We already got a chunk of uh, bonus money on top of that. And that frees up a mission slot, so where are we going? Mm, always interested in requests that give more money, even though I now have a decent stack of it. Anything good going on Earth? Recover our astronauts. Get friendlier with uh, China. That's bad. I want to be unfriendly with China. Although that's getting harder and harder. Hmm, this is new. A mission to send an advanced orbital probe to Mercury to capture a high-resolution map of the cratered surface, learn more of its geological history. Experimental, but America will pick up the bill. Astronauts will survive a critical launch failure. <laughs> Why would I invest in failure? I like the 2% Mars readiness and the good science on it, though, especially with America picking up the bill, though. So let's get on it. Funding review won't be glowing, I think. <laughs> what have you achieved in the last year? I don't know. Shook hands with Uncle Sam. Alright. Vehicle upper stage gains two low. Well, I'm kind of just using the same stuff over and over again, so I doubt that's going to be impactful. Then again, America foots the bill, so... Maybe finally use the Centaur D? If it were 6% more reliable, that might be worth my time. Of course, to launch that, i got to use the good old Saturn V. It's alright though, America picks up the bill. Always remember that. Why is there no space for my composite casing though? Is that because the Centaur D has no space for it? Ah, it's a problem. But... We'll do it anyway. And of course we'll use our Astronautica. Yeah, I want that science, so let's shave down the cost there, and shave down the cost even more thanks to US of A. Can a smaller booster with supplementers work for less than 2.5 mil? You got a problem with my Saturn V? Some of these would probably get the job done, but I'd need to research them. And they're still expensive themselves. There's the Delta IV, the Titan... Well, there's Ariane. The Ariane V, however, I haven't researched, and it still costs a bundle. Mm -hmm. Once built, reusable boosters can be used again, as long as their previous mission was successful. Ooh! I like the sound of that. Good lord, why do I not have the wyvern yet? Is 
This part is unlocked as an era completion reward. Dang, are there any other reusable ones? Because I like the idea of reusable. Anyway, we're still using the Saturn, and we're getting it done relatively cheaply, so don't worry about it. God, the Saturn 6 takes 11 months to build. Very expensive. The Wyvern is the reward for unlocking all the science of the tier. Keep that in mind. But still, look how cheap it is to make. Don't be knocking my Saturn. It does seem way too big for the tiny little thing that it has to launch, though. I don't think I renamed you. Yeah, you're just called the Sublime. Oh, and you can't change the name. That's locked in. That's how these mistakes get made. Maybe once I have the Voyager, I could switch back to doing vehicles. Is nothing gonna... Ha Are we not gonna move forward with the challenges until I beat this? Actually, maybe coming first in one of these will work. I don't know when I get that. No, I'll probably get it for doing one of these. Assuming the Chinese don't beat me. The Chinese need to fail this for me to win. Hmm. Every time you strap something to the Saturn V, I hear your voice in my head saying, Surplus to requirements. Figured I'd ask at least. It does seem surplus to requirements. But semblance can off be hoodwink. At least it's a well-leveled Saturn V. Now let's go and pay for it by launching something into the moon. At 99%. There's no way this one's going to fail us, so let's not worry about it. Whee! Oh, man. That went a bit faster than expected. <laughs> Good thing it was low chance of failure. Alright, just get that one done. There we go. Oh, we even get the bonus. It's a shame to get a bonus on such a small amount, but I'm happy to keep building up that Mars experience. New joint mission available on Mars. That's what we're talking about. The big money and the Japanese helping out. Get on that. No questions asked. Now, I suppose a lot of my missions are long on the waiting list thanks to these extensive rockets. It'll be fine, though. Yeah, let's blow up another one off to Phobos. I don't want to blow it up when it's going to make us that kind of money. Final vehicle performance have yielded more favorable results, but the controllers believe the mission's complexity will make training harder. Yeah, who needs training? We already get the launch reliability, so that's easy. What are we doing this for again? This is a Mars lander. It's good in science and the support. Honestly, I would like both. Should probably go for the support. And the dates for Mars are looking great here. I'll try September, so I have two opportunities to push it if the launch looks bad. I'm not sure if 10% support's really worth it though. Probably better to have better payload reliability. Yeah, it's considerably better. And this is to be the first lander on Mars. Excellent. Get it confirmed, and get out there. China's launching space station next month. Please fail. I said please fail. No, it looked like it went well. Uh, I'll take the cost reduction in exchange for time. And what's that? The Agena launched by... Maybe not the Saturn V this time. Titan gets the job done a lot faster, so we do like Titan. But even with the extra rockets strapped to it, doesn't seem to make too much odds. I wonder if it's worth just getting that 2% launch reliability. Especially since this thing is reduced in cost dramatically anyway. Because we can go with our composite casing... And our Astronauka. And we get it done even cheaper. Yeah, it'd be nice to have some supplementaries on you. Jake, are you human? Or are you Dancer? Those are not mutually exclusive things. But we'll shove you up into space for your stupid question, Tatermod. 
There we go. Get out there and then make oof, like 15 times your value, please. Why not the Russians? There's no... Oh, there wasn't any science involved. Yeah, oh, that completely passed me by, Marvin. Good point. I guess I've just cost myself a few months for no good reason. Yeah, ah, uh, the Chinese make the first space station. Disgusting. That Saturn V is costing me in a few ways. Well, you may explode, Tater. That's up to you. Alright, JJ Ho Ho is uh, apparently unremarkable. I don't believe it, though. And JJ Ho Ho is going to be making a space station. A better one than the Chinese, one can hope. So we'll probably send you up with our resident Chinese person, Kaladin. Launch reliability, that would be rather nice. Should JJ be inside JJ? There's not really much point using his athletic stuff, given that there are other people that can do better. So let's get ourselves the... Hmm. I think Jung has always wanted to be inside JJ, so you get inside there. The two of you should do a good job on this. Launch reliability looking great. Now there's lots of science to be had, so if I can get a science boost... I'll go for November and postpone to December if the need arises. Missed a good recursion opportunity. Yeah, but sending up JJ is a waste of time since his only perk is repairing himself faster and we already have spare people for this. Alright, keep it going. Get that Mars lander up there. We can be ahead of the world, but we could also postpone if things look really bad, I think. Again, I'd love to be able to check the calendar. Well, it's piddling with rain. Bad sign. People haven't forgotten the 1010 Kulex. I like how you talk about JJ like he's not even human. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, that, that is a pretty bad condition. Could we please just reschedule? Yeah, October instead. Low on the science here. Voyager needs some love. Much better. Oh, yeah. No real chance of failure. Get up there. This game does go on a lot longer than I uh, had it proposed to me. I was told t 12 to 20 hours. I think we've been at it for about 15. There's a slight bit of tilt on you, but at least it's not coming back down to the earth like 1010 Cool X. Splendid work. Truly splendid. And yeah, I'm just going to auto resolve that. Odds are too good. Very nice. Although not a lot of science coming out of it. We need more science where we're going. That's just phase one, though. Plenty more phases to come. Sadly, though, that. Uh, that space station was a done in one affair, and hopefully we can be done in one as well. Twelve to twenty hours is just to find a base layout. You're not. An, I will always be annoyed with a base layout. It's an awful mini game. The Soviets are trying to catch up. We'll make sure that our modular parts are not welcoming. Are you a fan of combat sports? I don't really know what you mean by combat sports. JJ, I don't think this is the best day for your launch. Although I, I hesitate to think how rain could really be that bad. Terrible conditions. Didn't we say we were good on a reschedule for JJ? Didn't we already reschedule JJ? Yeah, it's December or bust. Gotta remember that. JJ has to go in December. Alright. Doesn't matter how bad it is out there. Oh, well, looking rather nice. Don't fail me now, though. You've only got a 1 in 100 chance of truly blowing up on us. Ah, 
Saturn V means business. JJ has to go in December, says Jake, cocking his gun in preparation. I'd say in anticipation, but okay. Alright, easily done, and the auto-resolve looks good. Yeah, we'll just let it be done. Look at that, now JJ, the International JJ Station, smiles down on us all. Hey, look, there's Italy. Anything missing from the Earth there? Second fiddle to the Chinese, though. It's a disgrace for this for the entire agency. Nice boost on the science, though. Ah, okay, so they are stuck up in that space station for 12 months. Would have been nice to be told that ahead of time. New article in the space station. Tell us about the space station. That's not the space station. Here's the space station. Doesn't look very big. God, you get pretty claustrophobic in there. Orbital laboratory, da 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 da. Living, working, ideal location for blah 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 blah. Well, if you want to watch that, you can pause and watch that. Or read that, rather. Still, got that mission done. Freed up a slot. We really are infesting the planets at this rate, aren't we? What's America doing on the moon? Oh, they were the last one to ever do a manned moon landing. That's one delayed step for man. Do we have to send a rocket up to bring them home? God, I hope not. Okay, at least I should be first on this, unless the Chinese just pull ahead again. And then there's Modular Space Station 2, which I haven't planned a mission for. Why have I not planned a mission for this? Seems important. Can I even get this done when I don't have another space station up there? We'll do it. Oh my god, that payload price is abhorrent. And it needs another two crew. It's going to tie up my crew. But we have spare crew, so it's okay. US last for the moon landing, Soviets last for satellite. Why is this game teaching the exact opposite of history? Because we don't have historical mode on. Okay. Baron is just about done. Our funding is a hey, gonna look good actually damn right give me all the money shame that it only goes up such a small amount we need a lot of fat loads of dosh we could just clo uh, declare victory close down the agency and leave them up there no one needs to know all right baron hey this is very reminiscent of baron von own's mod ship attempt Training bonus increased 100%. Uh-oh, I need three astronauts. And this is for the first part of the modular space station. This other space station is going to need even more people, isn't it? It'll be done in six months. Okay, I definitely need more crew. This one needs two. And I'm not getting the other guys back for a few months. I might have to wait a bit on that. Well, no big deal. Mosmoris, up you go. Maharaja, JJ, all of you, get on up there. We're looking good in April, May, June, July. It's all looking pretty good. We'll go for May for now. Oh, there's huge amounts of science to be had. And no one's competing with us on this, so let's try and get the maximum boost out of the science. Squeeze every last drop out of it. I say that, but... Yeah, actually, waiting till November and getting the Supermax bonus sounds amazing. So we'll actually do that. Ties up these guys for a long time, though. I'll just hire more throwaway um, astronauts if we need them, though. Speaking of which, are we getting extra throwaway astronauts available for her? Yeah. Kelly and Wilson and Fink and Karen have all joined us. And I want to be rid of... Are you allowed to have bad vision in space? Doesn't seem right. It's an important job. Okay, Mars Lander, carry on for us. Whilst we consider... People tell me to, buy, to build something other than the Saturn V, but... 
Let's see, it needs to be a booster with that kind of power and reliability and capacity and such. There's the Delta IV, but that's nowhere near as much as what the Saturn can offer. The Titan III... Mm, Atlas? Atlas is large. I already have an Atlas, though. Where's Atlas? Oh, James Atlas is quite far back. Maybe a bigger Atlas that's faster to do would be nice. It's also expensive, and I don't have that bonus here yet. I will soon, though. Game looks hard, interesting, and fun, complicated. It's not very deep. It's not very hard. And honestly, Ivan, it's not that interesting. I'm still having my fun with it, but I think I expected a bit more out of this game. The first few hours are really fun. Beyond that, you're kind of like, oh, it's just kind of the same thing again and again. Right. Maybe I'll do the Neptune flyby before I work on another kind of rocket. Also worth noting that we could work on that Jupiter flyby. Pathetic science reward out of that, sadly. Alright, once we have a, a bit freed up, we'll go and do that flyby. Japan's doing a Venus orbit. Good for them. A series of photos in space. Da 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 da. Oh man, they like looking at Kaladin again. It takes hours to set up, various articles have quoted. And the soap makes you itch, but it still felt like a luxury in Zero G. That's something I'd like to experience someday. That whole Zero G thing. Not like the 10 seconds you get with those special kinds of um, plane fly things. But all in due time. Alright, Tater Mod, you're not very reliable on the launch, but we have plenty of experience using these parts, so you'll be fine. The whole point of view is to get me funding cheaply, so just get that launch done reliably and quickly. Oh god, oh crikey. It's a long time until we can do this. Well, that's going to tie you up for a long time, but at least it doesn't tie up one of our astronauts so there you go 11 months it's a long wait for that very little money okay mars lander get this done and we are done with putting down we rover contractor effect decreased oh that's bad i need those contractor effects No cheap rocket for you. Well, not as cheap. All right, Mars Lander. This is the final phase of it, right? Well, just get on out there. Don't fail me now. Whee! Easy does it. Easy does it. There we go. We've finally set foot on Mars. And the immediate thing we do is point a gun at it. We're not the American agency here. But there we go. First to it. Excellent. High time we were first at something. And I'll probably want to use that bonus immediately to start making cheap vehicles. Oh, we even got it done with a 50% bonus. Nice. So getting lots of juicy experience. And what's the next bonus? Complete two milestone missions to get three million galactic credits. Well, I'm working on those as we speak, but for now, forget the Neptune flyby. We've got to get those cheap vehicles. I like the look of Atlas. Maybe even Atlas as a booster. I already have two upper stages. So I just need to take another one of these. It's a coin flip between the Titan III and the Delta IV. The Delta IV is much more reliable with a higher capacity. 
higher cost as well, though. The Titan III might be good to do in a budget. But I already have budget rockets. So to that extent, I might go with the Delta IV. But the Titan gets a lot of reliability per level. Three upgrade points versus one upgrade point. I only ever use one anyway. Titan III is faster. I think I'll go with the Titan III if I ever need something done quickly and cheaply. So Centaur into the Titan, into the Hermes, and hopefully we have enough science coming in for that. Not a ton of it, though. We've got anything that's going to complete to give us more of it. Right, the history of Mercury is going to be found out by ourselves and the Americans. November looks like a good date for it. Payload reliability up. The science is good, but the launch reliability is crummy. Let's try and make it a bit better. Payload kind of blows, though, but we'll have to make do with that. And then that modular space station needs an expensive rocket. Oh, this will hurt a bit. Are we sure we can't do this cheaper somehow? As in not using the Saturn V? <laughs> Maybe we can wait a little bit on this and use one of our newly researched rockets that we're bound to get. Uh, although, what would even work here? Use a Saturn IV, and then... Oh, but I don't know about the Saturn 1B. I might just have to use a Saturn V, because the rest of these are a no-go. Screw it. We all knew there'd be expenses. Make it cheaper, and then, unfortunately... Wait, that doesn't look like it's reduced by half. Looks fine to me. What's the what's the other one that I was looking for? It was you, but there's lots of science to be had, so I want that. Ah, screw it, that's still affordable. Complaining about the Saturn, are we now? It'll be fine. Yeah, 23 instead of 38. That doesn't seem like half off. It probably wasn't taking into account our uh, building that gives the extra bonus to it. Alright. You know, Albatross is actually a pretty great name, but since it starts with A, we'll call you the... Uh, Osteriman. Get on up there and don't let me down. I hope this is worth it. Oh, this is for the modular space station. It needs to be worth it. It's going to take an Aeon to make you as usual, but... Nobody else even has the tech, so I know we'll be fine for it. And we have an extra slot opened up. Is there anything that could get us some decent dosh? I always like the readiness. I do not like being friendly with China, though. That's some good science for an Earth mission. Friendlier with the Soviets? I'm allied with the Soviets, really? Chings, I'm everyone's friend. I do like the idea of the Soviets footing half the bill for me to get Mars experience and good science, though. Same could be said for the Americans or the Japanese helping us out over in whatever planet this is. Mercury. We're already working on you, but we could do it again with the Japanese. We're already working on the money there. That's not worth our time. Oh, I didn't do my Jupiter flyby. Maybe I should get to work on that. Be the first at it before anyone else gets any funny ideas. Yeah, let's get on that. Expensive payload, but make it so. Betting that China mission to fail just to rub it in. Okay, serious flaw discovered. Your engineers have discovered a major design flaw in the Osteremen. The launch vehicle in your upcoming modular space station. Oh no. Oh. I don't think you're worth half a million. 
Really don't think you're worth half a million, but 60% launch reliability is very sad. Ah, gotta invest. The payload was 3 mil, yeah, losing the payload would be worth too much. Okay, we got the Atlas 3, as we knew we would. We're still using that um, reduced cost, right? Still 50%, don't know how much longer for, but I wanted to get the Titan 3 as well. I'm slow getting on in this uh, research, but let's try and get the Hermes as well. I like that partially reusability part. Ooh, good, we need that for getting these vehicles fast. Debate over lander results, biological experiment performed, da da da. Inconclusive. Some believe the recorded chemical activity suggests signs of micro microbial life. There's been no clear evidence of that claim, and 50 years later we're still debating that. Further investigation is vital, even with a robotic ro rover, you say. And with, with that speculation, we managed to get ourselves Titan, and that allows us to get Hermes. Now, I don't know if Hermes is worth our time. I mean, Wyvern is here. Wyvern is reusable. How do we know about reusability? Like, where, where's the where's the hint here? Launch pad large, capacity launch, reliability. Nice reliability per level there. Takes a year to build the Hermes, though. Oh, crikey. It's Saturn V all over again. Have you noticed that for each research section you get additional bonuses when you complete enough of them? Yeah, I see this. Not really sure I want to go back and research stuff that I don't want to do just for... Oh, whoa, whoa. 5% launch reliability for these cheap, cheap things. Well, maybe I should go and do that. I like the sound of that wyvern. It only takes six months to make. It's not that expensive. And they said it's usable again? Is that true though? Or was it another? No, this is the Wyvern booster. How do we know if it's reusable? I don't know, but I still think I should use Hermes. Then again, it says vehicle. What is it even used for then? Carrying large payloads into low Earth orbit, blah blah blah. The booster is reusable. The research is the upper stage. Hermes can't even ring the bell in Germany. What? Easy? Yeah, it is an easy 5%. I think I'll get the Hermes. It looks cool. That's good enough reason for me. All of these are full up. Alright, continue on then. The only reusable ones are the Wyvern, Era Reward, and the Hermes. I think that reusable one sounds very much worth getting, though. All right, our demanding mission here, but I want that modular space station done and done right. This history one doesn't matter quite so much, probably. All right, oh, we got a lot to do. Wait, modular space station, international space station, still got that thing going on it. But yeah, we don't get this until we do all three of them. That's a shame, I feel cheated on that one. Right. Space station. Let's have it. It's a clear day. Good. It's our massively overcompensating rockets, as usual. It's the Baron Von Ohn. Don't let me down. I need the space station. Adequate. Oh, still minus three. So, a 1 in 25 chance of complete failure. Doesn't matter. Get up there. Well, not veering off course immediately. A slight tilt, to be expected. There we go, Baron. Achieve mod ship in space. Oh! <laughs> Barely. Barely. Got the Saturn II all leveled up. And let's just auto-resolve that. 
hasn't failed me once on the auto resolves, I'm glad to say. Probably shouldn't have done that. That would have been an expensive thing to fail. A first one on it. The Chinese might have been up there with their crummy satellite, but we've truly made it modular. Nice bonus. And you guys are going to be faffing about in space for 12 whole months? Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> just, just in time to launch the second modular part for you. Wait, the second one is less support, less science? The Mars experience is probably pretty vital, though. That frees us up with a mission slot, but our crew is all busy. Two of you will be back in a month, though. And that'll be just in time for... Well, actually, not just in time. There's loads of time for this. But I will have you back for Modular Space Station. Now let's go and figure out what's happening over in Mercury. Less support, less science. You're just adding to the original one. Yeah, I suppose so. So we should put something up there that captures the hearts of the uh, of the populace. Be the first to put a brothel in space. You know, something like that. Something controversial. So there we go. Nice conditions. Get on up there. Have we observed cats in zero G? Surely, you'd think one thing we do is observe every animal in zero G. Come on, Saturn, don't let me down. That's a bit bendy. Good, we're good. Saturn V knows how to handle itself. Oh, 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 crikey. One random command is lost from a module in the first. Uh, that's sometimes not so bad. It's okay, the Americans can do, go and deal with this, although the chance of failure is dangerously high. Screw it, they can deal with it. Plus, if it does fail, it'd be good to know if that does affect your standing with other nations. Okay, so that slot that we have opened up, is there anything that we have researched that we could be getting on right now? We still have the reduced cost in Hermes, which is nice. And in fact, we're going to get enough research to get you done pretty swiftly. And then I think I'll just spend four months blowing through these. And then it's time to get back onto the Neptune flyby. See, it's the Jupiter flyby. But we're already working on that, so any slot that I have left over is a slot that should be making me money. That's not a lot of money. Can we get more money, or preferably better science? It's even better if we share that. Ooh. Could work together with our good friends, the Soviets, to get it done cheaply. It's nowhere near the kind of payoff we get from the lightning survey. But having them foot the bill is always promising in my opinion. So yeah, let's plan a mission together with the Soviets. Skylab crew return, right, our ESA astronauts are already back on Earth. They spent 12 months on the space station. Uh, Kaladin was asked, why is it always Kaladin? I suppose, to be fair, they're looking at the likes of Kaladin Maharaja, Nick, and JJ thinking, who should we put on television to represent our agency? Hmm. Some decisions just make themselves. In any case, he says, taking a space shower. I spent three hours setting up that shower. I didn't speak to them for a week afterwards, after the other had an incident, so the water was ice cold. I wonder if that's based on real life. Kaladin's good at singing. That's probably why they put him in. Put him on. JJ would just spend the whole time talking about Smash. Science reward up. I like it. Kaladin bullied even in space. <laughs> I do not like that launch reliability down. Even so, oh god, nothing's going to work but the Centaur D. That's a scary thought. That's not my most reliable rocket. 
We're going to blast it up with a Saturn V again. Could we use anything else? Come on, the Titan. The Titan III can get it done nice and cheaply. But only if it has supplementary boosters put on it. Ah, jeez. Ah, jeez. No, the Saturn V gives us some much-needed launch reliability. Although the Saturn IV... No, we don't have the... Ah, no, there's the Atlas III. Atlas III can get it done. Much faster and cheaper to build. Less reliable, though. Could up the reliability for minimal cost. Could up it quite a lot for high cost. Now, let's take our chances here. We want it done cheaper. Now, the real question... We could get some good reliability bonus, or we could do it really cheaply. Reliability bonus or cheaply. Now this is for the Jupiter flyby, that's an expensive thing to get wrong. That payload wasn't a cheap. Cost us 1.1 mil. Anything else give reliability, with perhaps fewer downsides? No, but look at that cost reduction, 800,000 off of it. I can't say no to that, we have to cheap out. Right, who feels like taking one of the biggest risks this space agency has ever taken? Trying to reduce cost? At least we're not putting lives at risk here. I can lead us to glory. That's what I like to hear. Rested Pandy is going to be our budget in space. I don't know what the openings are for a Jupiter uh, flyby is, but let's... At least it only takes 11 months, not a year and a half. I will miss you, Saturn V. You truly were the greatest thing. Now you've unlocked a shuttle, a partially reusable space plane that could be used as a launch vehicle in your missions. Okay. Shuttles are designed the same way as other launch vehicles, but are only available on crewed missions. Once constructed, a shuttle can be reused. It'll have a fitting time and cost. Nice. That's exciting stuff. Kind of wish we'd had that in time for um, some of the space station stuff, actually. Yeah, is it too late to change your mind on this? Now. I like that 5% launch reliability, and if we get this done fast enough, it'll lead and help the other one. The 50% cost, though, makes me want to continue doing more of these. But... I'll do Vega first. Vega, Jupiter, Jupiter, Star, and then everything's going to be 5% more reliable. Funding review? Nah, that will look okay. Yeah. All right, Vega, Jupiter. We don't have the cost reduction anymore, so it's no big deal. Make sure to name the shuttle Saturn V. But why? Oh, <laughs> what the rocket? The sh yeah, the shuttle. Right, that would just get beyond confusing. Oh yeah, you sh I should have used the 50% thing on um, on one of the other ones for one month. Too late for that. Supplementary booster reliability bonus increase. Yeah, but it's not a big bonus to begin with, so probably not worth our time. Let's get that weather report done. The Soviets are paying a huge amount of it. So what are we going to use here? Get the Ajena in there. We could use the Atlas, get some more levels on the Atlas. Could use the Titan 3. The Titan 3 badly needs some extra bonuses put on it, so we'll use the Titan 3. Make it cheaper as usual. Although, maybe I should start thinking about some of these. We have a lot of points for it. Reputation with NASA, half a critical, positive event. All of these suck except for the reinforced tank walls. I don't even care about that. I'd rather have the cost reduction. Now, is there any science to be had here? Keep forgetting who does the science reduction. Okay, there we go. No, I'd rather take a little longer. And who who feels the most Russian amongst us? Because you're half built by the Russians here. Hmm. You know, I think that uh, 
Decca Dance Scare has a bit of Russian flowing through them. They certainly do now. Off you trot. God, that's cheap. Get us that weather report. You're our weather girl here now. It's telling me about the Juno 1. Not sure we care. Bleh. Short career of six launches. Waste of time. You had me at more capable. Okay, let's get Jupiter done, and then Star, and then we'll have a lot of science backed up to work our way towards Neptune flyby, and then we'll do the Grand Tour. Is anybody else working on the Grand Tour right now? Where's the Grand Tour showing up? Here it is. Nobody is. Excellent. Looking forward to this 5% bonus on everything forever. There we go. Just in time for those launches. Now let's figure out that Neptune flyby. So at least once we have this, what do we have to do to make our way down to Mars preparation missions? Oh crikey, we actually need to do... It's one, two, three, four. Right, we get those four done, and we beeline our way towards that Mars landing. It's actually looking pretty promising for us. We'll ignore these other useless things. Who cares about a crude rover? Really? Having access to a human-rated rover on Mars would greatly aid our blah, 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 blah. Oh, actually, all of these are needed. Ah, crumbs. Well, we're going to have to do them. And oh, my god, they're expensive. Look at these science costs. Can't wait to watch you play Frostpunk 2, says Ivan. Ah, you should have been our uh, Russian rocket there. Uh, we still have not heard any news about Frostpunk 2, and it has been over eight months since it was announced. I'm starting to feel a twinge of disappointment. Right, well, maybe the Americans can disappoint me even more. Don't go crashing into the planet now. Try to reach orbit. Ah, there we go. Lovely photos. Not a 50% bonus, but good enough. And hey, we could put in a launch escape system to keep our astronauts safe, but we could also not. I've already done a landing on uh, Mars, but it wasn't manned. We just put down a wee probey thing that immediately just fi uh, fired a gun into Mars to show our superiority. Right, we've got a slot opened up here now. Ahem. Still waiting on what we need for the Neptune flyby, though. Do I need a probe for that, actually? No, I think we could do that with what we have. So actually, if I just wait one month without doing another mission, I can immediately do that. However, the Americans love to do welding. Ooh. This could be useful in a pinch. I'm actually going to do a welding job with the Americans. Too good to pass up. Too damn good to pass up. Flyby research is good to go. Yeah, the actual goal is to do a crewed mission onto Mars. Right, the Phobos photography might have exploded horribly before, but this time, with a bit of Japanese ingenuity, and not pouring rain, and not having a classy name like 1010 Cool X, we're gonna make it. JQPRR does their part to support the European Space Agency. All right. Adequate conditions, seems good to me. The second critical failure was doing this, some Phobos photography, I believe. 1010 Cool X was the rocket. The conditions were all garbage, it was a bit of a throw, but I wanted to take the risk, and the risk did not pay off. Happy to see this one work out with the two additional thrusters, though. I like to see those. Even though I don't rate them very highly. Good in a pinch. 
Oh, we're nowhere near getting the unmanned landing. Oh, right, no, the unma unmanned landing we did do, but the manned one we're nowhere near. A little bit of the rewards there. It's a shame we don't get the 50% bonus, but we'll just take the risk on it. There we go. We got Neptune. Now, the question is, do I want to do... Yeah, we want to do Grand Tour, and we have a lot of science saved up for it. It's just still going to take a while to do. So we need science missions. Shame we're kind of booked up on this. Still time for a third critical failure. Don't I wish. Ah, oh, this could be it. Launch reliability down for level zeros. And I think we have those, Gemini. But this is a space welding job with the Americans, so we should do this as cheaply as we can. You can now design a shuttle. Ooh, perfect! That is just perfect! Because now we can use our shuttle and do it even cheaper. Oh no, it's build time, not build cost. Still fine, because the Americans could pick up the cost. Shuttles are designed the same way as normal vehicles. Upper stage and booster cannot be edited. They're able to carry the mission's payload, just like other launch vehicles. As long as it's a success, the shuttle can be reused. When constructing, it will have a build time and cost. However, when reusing, there'll be a fitting time and cost. Fitting time and cost are far lower than normal build time. Could be a great way to save time and money. I like to hear it. And it's level zero. And we can upgrade you, again, only with one thing. Why not multiple things? All things considered, maybe I want that launch reliability. The Americans are going to pick up the cost anyway. Uh, Astron Astronica will help out with some of those costs as well. Yeah, this will be nice and cheap. Okay, who wants to be our first proper shuttle in space? I'd love to explode, says Coral, or at least try to. I like that, but since we have someone who's actually called Ronald, we're going to have to have those in. Reagan or McDonald, we don't know, but up they go. Don't let me down. Seriously, don't let me down. Ah, oh, nice and cheap, though. Although the whole point of this is to get funds and not science, so once again, we should actually not use Astronica, but instead... X-Star. Same cost reduction, I think. Wait, what? Why is Astronica better than X-Star? Wow, well, I guess we're going to Astronica. The maths is off, says well, uh, Word of R. Well, there we go. Right, the Japanese are the ones truly helping us out in this American investment, so let's go. Better to invest in reliability for the shuttles. Nah, believe. Believe in the cost reduction. We're going for it one year and one month from now. We'll do some more welding in space. It's funny just how interested the Americans are in doing some welding. Optimizations, eh? Right, that's well worth it for the space station too, because that's a big expensive thing. Let's make it work. Ocon Orbital is on with the same reduction as Japanese. Hmm, where's the offset in that? Right, let's go and take some more photos with a 1% failure chance. Easy peasy, and we get the big money boost. Don't know why we're getting extra money for just a mid-course maneuver. Surely I should only be paid for getting the photos. And we're still working on that grand tour, but god, we need that science coming in. Right. Popular travel magazine has followed up on its feature on Venus. A four-page spread holidaying in Mercury. Images from da 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 da. Sudden temperature swings from minus 173 to plus 427 Celsius. Thought you'd be wild by a special quirk of Mercury's slow rotation. Be sure to get up early to witness the sun rising, then quickly setting and rising and setting yet again. Quirky, but I need the money. It's quite funny, when SpaceX started doing reusable boosters, you could literally stack the payload fairing a Falcon 9 full of $1 bills. It would still be cheaper to fly the Falcon 9 than the Space Shuttle. Madness. A one dollar bill. There used to be a one pound note. I told that to someone and they're like, no there wasn't. How quickly these things fade from memory. Payload mission training bonus, but launch reliability down. 
This is for the Russian one, right? It certainly is. Oh god, that launch is looking unreliable. But the training bonus is on payload. I think I'd still rather get the launch reliability up. But then again, it's all about the science. And if it fails, it's the Russian's fault. So let's do the science. Yeah, there we go. How badly could it be? Still think I have one or two in a drawer upstairs. I had one for a while, but God knows where it went. I thought that surely if they're, go if they're not going to be made again, they'll be worth something, right? Hmm, probably not. In fact, they're probably not even worth one pound. Alright, looking swell. I like the look of this red rocket, and it doesn't seem as hideously imbalanced as using the Saturn V. Alright, Rested Pandy, there is absolutely nothing worth saying about you. Uh, but your launch reliability blows. I'd really like that to be a lot better. Then again, think of the science. Think of the science. Mmm. Mmm. Payload cost us 1.1 million. Think of the science, though. I don't know, we'll leave it to Pandy. Do you want to maximize the science, or do you want to have some actual launch reliability? We could up your launch reliability by 15%, but we'd lose a 25% extra science. I'll leave it in your hands, rested Pandy. Well, unless you don't respond, in which case, too bad. He's really setting you up for success. Science is good, just need to pray, precisely. Thoughts and prayers will get us through here. Besides, we might have a really, really optimal launch day, and then, then we won't have to worry about it, because that'll offset the launch reliability. <laughs> no, it's our goal to make an impact for all of Earth, Hoopa, not to explode on Earth. Speaking of uh, weird-looking Saturn setups, suboptimal launches aren't as bad for you for the space station, but that's okay. We can do an optimal launch anyway. And who's going to be going and doing this? Well, that depends on other things. Uh, for now, I'll put in Kaladin for that reliability. And... Are you all still Tier 1? That is sad. Maharaja, you're going up there as well because I want that extra science. Ooh, do we wait till August? I want the max bonus, it's hard to deny. We'll try April. If April fails, we'll delay till August. Launch reliability is already sky high. So let's try and get ourselves some extra science. We like science. Yeah, very nice. Get on up there. Alright, funding review. But we didn't gain any positive things, so I don't think we're going to be uh, getting any extra money. But soon it's grand tour o'clock. Close. So close. Alright, get us those photos of Phobos. I mean, this mission's already paid for itself, but more money is good money. Nice. You need a tier two astronaut building to get tier. Oh, I thought that uh, I thought that the astronauts would level up as I used them more. How dare I assume such things? Okay, we almost have the grand tour research, so I could wait off on that unless there's something super lucrative that we can do. Did the moon got anything for me? How about Venus? Again with lightning surveys, but blare to that. Uh, nothing good going on Mars, either. Japan loves us so much they're going to make anime of us. Have they done any anime about the space race? Earth Oceans is pretty damn good. Same with Solar Observatory. Both of these look really good. I could do both of these really cheaply. 
and it's a nice 2,000 odd science to add to my everything. You have a flyby at Neptune. Oh Christ, did I not start doing that? Let's see, Mars is currently engulfed in a planet-wide dust storm. Observed by your so orbiting satellite, the storm is prevented. Da -da 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 -da. Extraordinary images, but we lose science. Out. Yeah, maybe I didn't get around to my Jupiter. No, we're working on Jupiter flyby. It's Neptune that we were meant to do, and I completely ignored. That's Uranus. That's Neptune. Yeah, crikey, we need to get on that. Is any mission going to be done soon? Ah, the modular space station will be done, then we can do Neptune, and then it's time for the grand tour. Twelve years, Jake. Well, it's only going to take longer if we delay it. Level zero parts. Do we have level zero parts? This isn't a crude mission, is it? So I can't use my um, can't use my big old vehicle the shuttle. All right, never mind. This one just gets done nice and cheaply. That's the whole point of it, after all. Real cheaply. Both similarly unreliable. I suppose I should add a little bit just to make it slightly more reliable. Unless some of you are better. You're all right, but I'm not paying that kind of money. Get up there with that. Get it done cheaply and get it done mega cheaply. Although, what was the what was the other one that cut the cost? As we were saying, I know I was just looking at it. I'm just trying to weigh them up here. So there's X Star and Ocon. Ocon is the one that I should go for if the uh, science isn't part of it. But this isn't a big time concern, so we'll just go with Astro. All right, and this one is going to be the the Hooper 2. Not that you're doing a particularly important mission, you're just getting up there and doing some solar observing while well, setting up a solar observatory. Alright, get on up there. And then Space Station 2, modular. I'm the only one that knows how to do modular stuff here, aren't I? Oh yeah, the Soviets are trying, but we've made sure that our stuff is incompatible. Let's go and launch. Okay, looks pretty clear. Mm, no, better than clear. Lovely and adequate. Alright, I really want that non-failure on my modular space station. Can't believe we're still speaking French though, come on. Do not believe in a linga franca. Don't worry, Hooper. You might be the brave pilot who's the first to colonize the sun, but you'll be safe. We'll do it at night time. Expertly done. Very good. And that should make the auto resolve a shoe in to win. There we go. Space Station is all European all the time. No extra bonus for it, but we'll live with that. You just send more Italians into space, what could go wrong? Hey, the Italian made it. It was a bit touch and go, and it didn't super succeed, but he still made it. Still, that frees us up, and now we can spend years doing a Neptune flyby. Given that this ties up the mission segment for that long, it's probably not a good idea to do. But we'll do it anyway. I'm not scared. Get that payload done for it, however long it takes. Five months. And I'm sure we'll learn plenty from this. You'd think for a mission that takes so long, you'd get more out of it. But it's not happening. Hoopa's trying to bribe people into accepting their launch into the sun. 
What's it come to? That the space race would be so open to corruption? Okay, probably a really bad idea to tie up this mission slot for 10 years, but hmm. tied up it is. Grand Tour research done. After these encounters, the probe will continue on into interplanetary space and leave the solar system. That's cool and all. We need it done. Alright, time to head off to Venus. One with the Russians. Very low reliability. It's not looking good for you. But it's not raining. It's a good start. In fact, it's a beautiful... This looks more like the morning. All right, Decadan. My tanks are pulsing with anticipation. The RA3RU subs say, so much pressor. Well, not liking the chances of you failing miserably, but I'm not going to reschedule this. Get your ass up there. As always, space for the third failure. I was going to ask what happens on Phil other than, you know, boom. Well, hopefully we don't find out. See? Magnificent launch. Went like a rocket. Well, it is a rocket. And adequate job. I would expect nothing less, but I would expect more. I'm just going to get that one done and done right. And got it 50% uh, boosted. And we're working really well towards our Mars preparation. We're going to storm Mars like nobody's business. Since we have these two, I could work on... Ooh. I could ignore Jupiter and Saturn altogether and just go for an X-ray telescope. Yeah, that would be the best. I don't want to waste my time with Jupiter and Saturn. If we get this done then it's time to start on the Mars preparation missions, and that's what we'll do. It's expensive, though. Get to it. Oh, I, but I really want to finish off my space station, because the space station gets a huge bonus. I should think about that. Just come out and, and reassess. Mmm. God, look at that. Look at that sweet bonus. Look at those sweet costs, though. Telescope, what do you get me? Also, what does Space Telescope get me? I might want it all. Well, I do want and need it all in order to do the Mars thing, but let's consider what's going to get me more. Milestone missions. X-ray Telescope gets a fat lot of, of uh, science reward. Not as fat as the Grand Tour, but the Grand Tour takes ten years to complete. It's okay though, we'll we'll get this um we'll get these rewards gradually as we continue on with it. Space telescope. I would have thought I'd get a bit more out of it. This is where the real stuff is at, the International Space Station. Jake, read the Clarange above. Complete send lander before China. Ah. Complete Mars requirement, send lander before China. Building research cost for three months. Hey, that sounds really good. Send lander. I thought I sent a lander to Mars. I guess not. I need the send la That's a billion miles away, though. I need to do this and this and one of these. Or all three of these. That's a lot, a lot. That'd take forever. It's hard to say, Dark Young. It's a different kind of game. This isn't like many other games out there. It is pretty bland. It's not very deep. Uh, it's a little disappointing on the strategic point. So it's, the game, I think, is actually full of disappointments. But there's still something I find quite captivating about it. Also, I think the UI kind of blows. But I'd say that. It's captivating alone. And it's pretty unique. And that's able to put it up on a pedestal. It's funny, Jake continues to say bad things about the game, but continues to have fun. Very enviable, says Marvin. Well, I've played a lot of games. I know some real ass out there. 
Some people can only handle a bad game for under five hours before they throw in the towel and say, Please, no more Mega Man. <laughs> oh, at least I get my jollies after all that time playing Caesar 3 and Seleucus. Anyway, I'm getting distracted here. It's time to sort out which of my techs I want to do. And I think I'll do telescope and then space station and then other telescope and then work my way through the Mars preparation. Sounds good. And it's time to launch our Jupiter flyby. Baron, how does it feel not to be the worst platformer player around here, by the way? Your performance on Mega Man 2 has been... Uh, well, historians have reanalyzed the events and have better things to say about it. I wish I could have better things to say about this launch here. It's alright, we believe. The Jupiter flyby can be done. Don't let me down. You always cost me loads of money. Since a lot of the necessity of power is to get ourselves out of Earth's orbit, why don't we just build a really tall place to launch our rockets from, so we don't have to worry about that? Like launch it from those ancient Incan ruins or something. There, not only done, but done passably well, and we finally figure out how to effectively use the Atlas III. And I get resolving. That's the idea in building a space elevator. Ah, I wouldn't know. I don't know anything about space elevators, but I'm not very interested in space. Oh, off-planet, even better, but we still have to get the stuff off the planet, which again is the expensive part. But yeah, what if we just... How about a giant slingshot? Right, off we go. You're going to be going and doing that mission for forever here. 21 months to do a Jupiter flyby. Neptune flyby for a lot longer. Ah, it'll be fine though. Continue on. I saw that new request on Earth. First time using this though. Our first shuttle is the Ronald McDonald. The bonuses are up. Launch reliability. Yeah, let's um Let's not use suboptimal launch windows. We need two people sent up there. JJ, Jung, Mosmoris. I like Jung's bonus, and I suppose we'll just throw up JJ so we don't have to care so much about you. JJ in the first shuttle, it's a scary thought. Train for launch reliability because it's a little scary, and... I would like to get the maximum bonus off of it. It is. It does go up by 100% after all. Yeah, I think we'll fire you off in March. Just so we make sure it's ultra... Actually, we might not need that much reliability. What do we do it in June? Uh, no, not, not that June. Do it in November. Come on, 90% is plenty. Get your ass up there. We'll get that space welding job done with the Americans. Don't weld your chin to it, JJ. And then... And then, and then... Five months, 21 months. What was that Earth mission that was available? I don't see lucrative, although I do say crude observatory. Could be good, but we need to do the grand tour. We're the only one with the tech for it, so we should damn well get on it. It's going to take forever, though, isn't it? The Grand Tour is another 10-plus year mission. It's tying up all my mission slots. So maybe once I'm done with this, I actually need to start thinking about researching... Uh, there's got to be something that gives extra... Um, mission slots, right? Don't tell me there isn't. Well, that's bad. Well, failing that, I could get myself the Tier 2 and then the Tier 3 astronauts.
layer to that. Yeah, I've been playing as the ESA. I mean, I have only ever lived in Europe, so let's play as Europe. And I don't, I don't think I would live outside of Europe unless I can make it to Japan. Give that a go. I mean, visit, sure, but live? I don't know. You're birthed all of civilization. Why would I want to go anywhere else? Barbarians, the lot of them. Have you ever been to Japan, Jake? No, but I plan on doing so. My brother went. Kind of think of it, I should have asked him how it was. Yeah, over to Ryukyu. Should have gotten that done on Paradox Budget. Right, time for Neptune flyby, and we can only do that with the Centaur D. That's a shame, because the Centaur D super sucks. Dare we use this? <laughs> Saturn V just looks so wrong for this. Right, we'll use Atlas. And I don't want to spend a lot of money on this, but launch reliability is nice. We'll get a token amount of launch reliability for a token sum. Upgrade it with some composite casing, and of course, we want that science, so we'll use the Astronautica. Now, who fancies their shot over to wherever this is? Where is this again? Neptune. Who's always wanted to go to Neptune? Because now's your chance. Without those boosters, it looks like a pen I had. Hey, it's Skirk. We don't see you around here often, Skirk. And now with you heading off to Neptune, we won't see you again for years and years. I'm a little worried about that reliability not being as high as it could be, but off you go anyway. Clonk. And then it's time to finish off Maybe not finish off, but continue on with our weather report. There we go. Now we know... Oh, it is finished. Now we know when it's raining on Venus. And our reliance on the Soviets is further solidified, but I think it was already maxed out. It's a bit of a shame. This this is one in many things in this game that I think is just... It's really surface level. Could do with being a bit f more fleshed out. For one, this stuff only seems to go up. Where, where's the where's the sabotage? Where's the the crap slinging? Ooh, six percent launch reliability. Why would I ever have that when I have access to my own better one than that? Okay, but that freed up our mission plan, and it's time to start on the grandest of all tours. It's like the grandest LAN, but better. Just standard payloading. I don't see any reason to do better than that. Humanity's time capsule. Your PR officers propose spend, uh, sending up a time capsule in the form of a golden record with your upcoming mission, the Grand Tour. The phonograph record will convey information about humanity to any intelligent extraterrestrial. They discover a record and figure it out. The proposal would require the funding of a committee dedicated to the records. Con yeah, why the hell not? Golden oldies will be up there. This is how the aliens find and attack Earth. Uh, the Golden Record Offer. Your agency has been approached by a major record label about the time capsule. They wish to include several of their artist songs. They're willing to pay that kind of money. What if I decline? Do we get other better ones? This is what bothers me with these kinds of events. There's not a lot of information to go on. Maybe I could get a better offer if I say no. Mm, I will say no. Maybe there, maybe there are other better things. I mean, otherwise, if no just got you nothing, why would it even be a choice? Maybe I should have read up about all the events in the game. All right, high time we saw this, Ronald. Do it, do it for America. Do it for McDonald's. God, I'm hungry. I could I could demolish a double sausage and egg McMuffin with hash brown. And pulpy orange juice. Oh yeah, 1% chance of failure. Never gonna happen. And you're gonna be reusable. Ah, 
That is so cool. Hey, no explosions, no veering off course, just a perfect launch. Perfect launch! Holy moly! Thank God we had ideal conditions for that one. Oh well. Ronald didn't put in the slightest bit more ne uh, effort than necessary. Good job. Now we're learning how to fire good rockets. Excellent. Let's just get that one resolved. Built to spec and not one bit over. Whee! When he said never gonna happen and it's reusable, I, expl I expected explosions right away. Now, see, made to measure. Uh, oh wow! Must take some sizable brass to do that. Why don't we do this for regular planes, by the way? Deploying little parachutes out the back. It's probably a pain. We probably have better ways of doing it. But still, why not? I think the horizontal integration was something that I was interested in. I think it just upped reliability or something. No, there was something that I wanted it for. Ah, right. Uh, faster build time. JJ looks very unhappy about that mission. Probably got rejected by Jung. Alright, not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. I think we're going to call it there for today. When we launch up next time, we're going to finish off the research that we need to start preparing properly for Mars. And then hopefully, before the week is out, we will be able to do our crude mo uh, Mars landing. It has to be done this week, because next week I'm flying off myself, and I sincerely doubt I'll be uh, setting up streams for more of this Mars horizon. It's not impossible, but... I'd rather have it out of the way in time. So, good job us. Only one major explosion, and it was probably someone else's fault. In any case, until I'm back tomorrow with some more of this, and uh, some punishment game to go in tandem with the Dark Stones, it's a cheers and cheerio.